Good evening and welcome to the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting, January 16th, 2019 at 6 p.m. here at the municipal offices in South Deerfield. Um, first, I'd like to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Would you all please rise? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Uh, just let everyone know that this meeting is being recorded. <laughs> okay, our first item on our agenda is to discuss the select board's budgets. Is that just our group? A little yeah, not all of them are in here. Um, I don't have any of that. Well, then I have to say to you. Uh, the moderator's budget of $400 hasn't changed, so I don't think we have anything there to really speak about. Uh, yeah, why don't, if we, why don't we just vote on them all together instead of having to vote individually? Okay. Do you want to talk about them individually? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Just like you did. Okay. So and where are you at? no issue, just yep. move it. Okay. Uh, select board salary. Anybody have an issue? No. You guys don't want to raise? Do you want no, to I'm good. Just curious. Do you want to start with moderator? Then? Yeah, we did. Why don't you start with the moderator? moderator? Yeah. We already did that. Oh, yeah, we did. Where? When? Just now. Oh, just, just now. now. I yeah. missed that. You guys are that's fast. what we were well, talking two, about. Two, two, three. Okay, that's and fine. She said that we would go through them and then we could vote oh, for gotcha. them all together. I got gotcha. you. Okay. okay. Yep, that's fine. This has been reviewed by the moderator. Okay. Yeah. Yep, this is fine. The select board and administrator expenses. Um, are we putting in enough? Expense for, um, I mean, how much did we actually spend uh, for meetings and trainings and stuff? Do we know? Less we're, we're always spending like half, right? Yeah, well, huh? um, yeah, I didn't take advantage of many things that I had. Should we, I, I mean, I hate to reduce it at this point. Can we? I would not, re I wouldn't no. reduce it. We've discussed it and we. We thought this would work. Okay. I'm just curious, what do we spend $5,500 on meetings for? Or well, what kind of meetings? Most of it is select board. The MMA adds up. That's a big cost. Mm -hmm. um, no select board association, is that well? Select boards. But, select yeah. board associations. Um, we don't have a line by line of these probably, right? I mean, we, we could have, get we them. Do but have more, yeah, we do have a more budget detail. Those reports you get. Right. So maybe I'll look at that. I didn't bring it with me. I haven't. Yet. Let me just grab my other. Um, Do you have anything else you want to talk or just skip that one too? Um, well, the only other thing I, we were talking about uh, bumping the emergency planning money. We, we made a separate budget for it. Oh, okay. Okay? Yeah, no, that's fine. Finance committee. Yep. We should that's follow their lead. That's pretty good. Are you voting or just looking? Just looking. We're going to go through them all and vote them all together, I guess. I'm sorry. I did hear you say that. Yes. Okay. Finance committee is fine. Are you f okay with the 500 still? For what? For your budget? Yeah, we voted for Okay. Week. In the back of your book, I believe you have a, a spreadsheet. Oh, it's in the back. Oh, um, here it is. The finance committees, what they've already voted. Um, Brenda had filled that in. So if you want to pull that out and sort of follow along, you can see. Section 10? Uh, yeah, section 10. Section 10. Oh, section 10. Okay. Uh, it's hidden away. And they did these up in the last one. Okay. The accountant's expenses, $15,800. It's a small decrease. Again, I have, we've had discussion. Have you had discussions with Brenda? Does yes. she feel like this is adequate? She said that last night at the um, finance okay. committee meeting. All right. All right. Just 
Wait a second here. None of the assessor's lines had been considered yet by the Finance Committee. I'm okay with that. Yep. So they're asking for another increase. Assessor's expenses. Where's an increase of 13 percent and that was I think if I read the note it was to do with um, upgrading their software to allow them newer versions of the assessment <coughs> software I guess and it was recommended by Northeast IT when you guys did your that's all under was technology it yeah was yep. it, the software? it was maybe uh, increase in technology for upgrades oh <coughs> a server and SNSQL software that will allow the department to avail itself oh, of I the see. newer version of our assessment software yeah, it's at the bottom. That's right. yeah, so um, we actually will be, um, they would like to upgrade the Patriot um, software and need to do a, a server upgrade and, and have that licensing software upgraded in order to do it. So we got a quote and that's what they're asking for. So that's okay. 3,000 versus 220? Right. Okay. All right. Why did it go up? Oh. Which one are you looking at? The I don't think. I don't, yeah, I think that went up. No, oh, the recertification. Yeah, I don't think that number is the right number. You think it went up more than that? Well, is that what they actually requested? It says that they did. No, they yes. have a five year, $100,000 contract. Maybe it's is balancing Is this the beginning out. of the first five? Or no, it's the second it, year. It was something like 19000 each year, so I'm one, not a little. This is for three, three, four. four. Is it an additional? <laughs> no. I don't know. To cover personal property. Okay. That's for, okay. Yeah. There was, was there a five year contract you're saying? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we voted only that. Four years. $100,000 contract. So. But. Well, maybe we could ask them. Well, it, Diana's right. She pointed out the explanation. It looks they're like do, they're, they're starting. Looks like they're going to start their cyclical inspections. They have a cycle. You have a cycle over a period of time where you have to do another required right. inspection cyclical. Over and above the over what they normally the do. Okay, okay. Well, that makes sense. I don't know why they wouldn't have anticipated that. I, I'm not. I don't know for certain. But that's yeah. what it Okay. Are you guys? We let the finance committee delve. The treasurer collector's expenses is a decrease of 16%. Um, right, she was, you know, wasn't getting, what was it, the Gatsby was this year. There were different items, like, but I don't think she had anything planned right for this year. Increase mainly due to postage rates. The Gatsby 45 actuarial expense. services has been eliminated? Is that just something they do? Um, that's that's um, every three years, I believe. Okay. So we won't have it this year or next year, but the following year we're going to have it. Okay. Um, okay. <coughs> Carol, when that's your document, that's printing, I guess, now. <laughs> oh. Six. Six. Uh, like a lag, no, huh? I did it ten I'm, minutes I'm ago. Really, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I, there's no way that I can edit it. But you're going to have two copies. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, no, that's okay. How are we... Um, Legal expenses. Yep. A 41, a okay, 41 so percent increase. They, they looked at... Um, the hours they've given the town and they, you know. <laughs> They're regretting this, the 30, this, 30, This year dollars. thus far, excluding personal, personnel issues. Um, and that is what still at, I think they're calculating at $112 an hour, um, which is a good for, you know, good amount. Um, and that's what they're saying. And we, we've also, you know, saying that to cover, you know, their costs that they would need to do that. Um, they, they also, um, one of the things that we're doing differently is, um, and we started this already, is so we'll take advantage of that in this year's contract, is whenever there's a big project, Adam is, Costas, attorney Costas, immediately um, involved and reviews things and all of that. And that's covered under the, you know, monthly charge that adds up to the. 
to um, a contract. So. When you talk about Adam costs, though, coming in for the planning board, isn't that charged back to um, wh whoever's applying for stuff? Well, no, that's not what I, go ahead. There's, there's, a, there's a couple of different uh, things. First of all, I know that the planning board has used Adam um, in a couple of different roles. And I, I think when the planning board used him to help draft uh, primarily the marijuana regulations, that was not, you know, that's borne by I the know. town. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we have had limited use of his services dealing with projects, but we discussed that at the last planning board meeting, and that from now on we're going to uh, include Adam's services as peer review. So if there's some legal questions that we need, uh, instead of asking of just general counsel, we're going to include that as part of our... Right. The well, I, that feel, would be peer review. I almost feel like it's really important that he is there with the planning board, and so that those charges would be charged to whoever has the applicant. That's what he's saying. Right, yeah. that's, that's what I'm saying. Well, so but not just not just questions, but actually have him come oh, and be it, there. Uh, if it was necessary, sure. But I think a lot of the times we can just submit questions or, you know, if we get documentation from an applicant, we can ask him to review it and give us a, a written opinion. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay. Well, I mean, I did, if I, there's ongoing discussions that we need to have him here, yeah, but I, that's we would do that. But mostly, it's as soon as something comes in, we're going to let him know right. about it. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I'm I'm fine with that. As um, as so that well. includes um, their flat fee projection of forty six thousand dollars and ad and additional monies for. Um, we should put that in the. Explanation. Yeah, I was going to. Because it's not in there. It's not in additional the list. Additional monies oh, to right. cover extra things like personnel. Um, so that would be above the fifty-one thousand. No, that, that's it'd what be makes thirty-six it plus. So it's an additional ten thousand. It's no, it's just forty-six plus five. Yeah, it doesn't look like. It's, doesn't. Yeah, it should be here. Forty-six would be the flat contract, and the five thousand would be just to cover in case we need it for personnel. Okay, so f the new contract will be forty-six thousand. Yeah. And just to let you know, this has all these. Um, what am I called? Cost centers, mm -hmm. like assessors planning, board, all sure. of that on your left. Right. Those are, I use that for tracking, and we used to pay that way. I still, you know, I, you know, be up to you. But I like to have it to see where our cost centers are. Right. But what I process for payment is a flat monthly bill. Um, but that's just to keep track of where our expenses are. I, I think that's what I would like to do, too, to is to continue yes. so we have an idea of it's good where we're know. spending it. Yep. Yeah. And we need to update that. So okay. we'll, we can talk about that. God knows when. <laughs> Up, update this list in the column, yeah, right? Make a list of these things. Yeah. The next item is the personnel board. There's a decrease of 66%. Yeah. They, I, um, I talked with them last year about, um, and they had a lot of interest in going to trainings and events and didn't pan out. So it's probably not likely that will um, bring due to schedules down. and due to um, topic areas that are relevant, you know, for the Mass Municipal Personnel Association trainings. <coughs> so, and I didn't get to any. So this covers yeah. that personnel um, association that Trevor and I yes, talked. Yes, that includes those the dues okay. for the MMPA. Yeah. Um, Geez, I, I really hate to take away training money if people, if there's any interest. But they just haven't used it. Well, it would also be ever free, you know. You know mm -hmm. I suppose if they okay, wanted we'll, to go we'll note that and take another look at it. If um, there truly is nobody on that board that wants to get any training, some, I mean, I know some of them are already. You, if we ever fully. had to come to you for reserve transfer for training, would you be supportive of that? No. What's that? Looking for reserve money for training. Mm. If they needed it, yeah. If they ever, if someone does choose to, because what we're doing is allocating money, and if it's, and if no one ever uses it, it's just money that rolls back into free cash. But I hate to reduce the opportunity for people to go training if but they. I'd rather, as, as leave, it, I'd rather leave it in the line than yeah. put it in a reserve fund. No, no, no. I, I was saying if people chose, if we reduced it because no one's using it, and then someone decides to do something, could we That's go to the really reserve? It, would you yeah. not want to do that? Sure, now we're discussing well, how yeah. foreseen it is right now. So. Right. 
I mean, I can't speak for everybody. You know, I don't have a real problem with it. We what, bring I, what I would hate to do is, is reduce a budget and then just automatically turn around and say, well, we reduced the budget, now we need yeah. reserve fund transfer. I know. And, and I get that, but uh, historically, it hasn't been used, so. No, I, in that case, I guess, you know. Bruce, you're on the board. Uh, there's three new members to the board. Hmm. Um, so I, I don't know what the opportunities have been. I've been well, you know, meetings, frankly, uh, well, Trevor and I spoke to, when we were at the MMA conference, we spoke to a really dynamic person that was in charge of the association, and it seems like they have trainings on a regular basis. Can I just speak to that? The trainings, though, really are not really for personnel boards. A lot of them are very specific things for HR yeah. staff, and um, they're not sort of, unfortunately, and I was looking for that, more general things that I think would be very useful to folks who serve on personnel mm, boards. That's what I'm wondering. Is and, it, are there? Uh, I've been looking for that. Yes. Uh, right. I mean, you want to spend a whole day on the on recent one piece of legislation in Boston. Yeah. So at any rate, that's really up to staff to sort of keep informed and go back to personnel and explain that. Well, <laughs> well, what do you want to do? Do you want to, I mean, I'm, I, I don't think we should, I mean, we're going to have a tight budget. So putting a thousand dollars away and then no one's going to use this. Right. Was this a recommendation from their board, their board no, or no? We can wait being, on this. Being a new member, uh, Bruce, do you, do you feel again? like you would be interested? What, what is the number you're talking about? I think we're, we're talking thousand either dollars. a thousand bucks or five hundred bucks. Oh. Uh, well, it's fifteen hundred. Oh, fifteen hundred. Was the original amount last year? And then they're going back to five hundred, which well, is just sort of a place. And two fifty is the. I we approve. I think we the dues. Five hundred. Yeah. Okay. So no, why don't we we'll leave do it that. the way it is? And if there's. Well, I mean, I have seen the opportunities. No opportunities have been have been presented. Okay. All right. Sorry. Stay where it is. Do you think it's, we should talk about it first in our If we have something that we had options to look at, yeah. Right. We have no options for education. For There's no education for planning boards? All right. Personnel. If there is, oh, yeah, we would so. definitely look at it. I would. Mm. Six months. Okay. Leave it? Okay. No, yeah, just leave it. Yeah. If, if, if no one wants to go. Okay. IT Thank hardware. You. Uh, it's a 20 percent increase. Oh, sorry. Go for it. We're going. We'll put explanations in there. Did you put that in? Legal. I know I had IT, but I had it near somewhere else. I had Peg Access was the next one. Okay. So um, yes, in talking with Brenda, we had our. Um, final stakeholder meeting for our municipal IT project. So we've done the first phase of our cabling and, and our network uh, security measures, identifying what we need to do. Um, we've uh, changed the wireless in here, so we've made the wireless more secure and, and more robust. And we've dealt with all of our issues we had with um, the uh, internet. We've, we've uh, made the uh, decisions to move the police and FCAT off of our, uh, our cable network. But Anyway, we've made all those changes, <laughs> and now we um, have identified that there's some workstations that need to be replaced, and uh, meaning computers, and then um, we are looking at the possibility of going with a managed service contract, which is basically like a support contract um, for to work with them for our next phase. How much is covered by the grant, and how much is... This would be so, stuff so this not actually covered by the grant. Then. Correct. So right now we are still working under the grant, and we have another phase of uh, installing a domain and some server things that we're hoping we have a little bit of more money in the grant. So we're hoping to continue with grant money. There's also money in this year's budget for for network and, uh, maintenance and administration. So we want to use a little of that to carry forward the next phase of our network project, and then this money would be used for the workstation repairs. So okay. you've, we've talked about this before a little bit. One of the things that we did is we used the, some the grant money. We bought a new, what's called a rack for, it used to be out here, very un oh. insecure, all out. It's all back in the FCAT. Our servers are there now, you know. 
uh, gr great improvement for security. And Who's so, it all out of here? Yeah. Yes. Oh, so so out of well, electrical and also closet closet into, temperature and all, into everything a, else. Right, into a climate-controlled space. Yeah. We got a new server rack and put, you know, set everything up, got a new switch. So everything is all, um, you know, working. So, so just so I'm clear, this is coming from the budget. This is not going to be reimbursed by a grant. Correct. The, the funds yes. that we're working on the grant are separate from this. So this Correct. Is just, okay. And we'll still be looking for, right. the, like I said, we have more work to do on yeah. the network itself. Okay. So next year we would look for another grant okay. um, you know, to continue uh, work on that. Right. Bruce. Uh, what yes. Line line is is that? Um, 5400. 5400. Uh, 55, 55, 50. 50. Yeah, we've spent $60,000 so far this year on capital. That's no, that's spent. something else. Yeah, it no. is. Yeah, this is five hundred. Is the account, account one one five five no, fifty four hundred. Do you um, okay. do you do you have this that one? Six thousand dollars. Six thousand. It's going from five thousand to six thousand. Okay. But my my question well, we should have is for, yeah. for a computer. Sarah? Maybe we did for Sarah. Yeah. So, um, like twenty six thousand bucks. You're probably going to get one or two, like two, maybe three 20, computers. Right. Twenty seven hundred about yeah. piece, and, depending and with, with the install and all the you know networking and all that stuff. I mean, like yes. that—that's uh, all right, that's needed we've in the been building. been upgrading all along. Yes, because yeah. that's that's right. Because that's going to be combined with the network administration money. We've done a whole analysis okay, of great. how we want to yep, phase it then. in, and we want to, you know, so, we want to so ease so through the budget. Have a plan on planned replacement. So that we know how many we have to do every year. Yes, we do. We have okay. well, we have now from them basically a ten-year technology plan that okay, we start to. Perfect. Makes so me this feel is the beginning of that. Just, I, I just don't want to shock folks, so that's why I'm only Thank asking. I mean, we could, yeah, I could double this. I could say, yeah, we could go for it. But well, no, I, let's. If you want, to, <laughs> yeah, but what I want to make sure is that we're not doing this random purchasing because no, in no. my mind, we no, they've we got were it. randomly we purchasing right. stuff. No. Every couple of years, it seemed like right. somebody had a different idea. So Correct. if we're having a real technology plan, I'm really excited. It's all about coordinated. This. Yeah, it's coordinated. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you for utilizing and updating that grant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wendy worked excited. a ton on that. No, <laughs> that was huge. Was we awesome. changed that from digging Thank a trench you, to the ground. Thank you, Doug, for getting that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I know, so it literally went that. from a trench. It went, it went from, from a trench, trench to that. A review of our sure. security. And it turns good. out it was really we're good necessary. With this. We had no okay. idea how bad it was. Okay. I, yeah. I'm, I'm happy that yep. we have a plan. Okay, the PEG access capital. <laughs> Uh, from four thousand, it was eleven thousand. Went down seven thousand. Yeah, this is in our our contract with Comcast that we ha get this money that gets uh -huh. then um, uh, it becomes available to FCAT. And um, the first it's, year of the contract, a, we're just a pass through. Um, it was fifty. Well, eleven. I think it goes back a year four. before that. So I have to talk to Brent about that. At any rate, the first year of that contract was fifty thousand dollars. Second is 11, and the remaining eight years is $4,000 a year. Um, they're not, um, they haven't been billing us out on that. We're going to have more conversations about that because there is a need to upgrade, and we need it here. And if there's ways we can use we that need money. Our audio fix. Exactly. Well, yeah. So we've been having this conversation. Dan and I were just talking. He's listening in there about that. So that needs to continue, and we need to make these. Upgrades as necessary. A few months ago, when Chris came in and, and told us about the, the contract changes with uh, Comcast, right. has, has anything been found out about I, that? Or? Last I knew, the FCC had delayed their decision. I did it send I did send comments. I um, also sent it to the newspaper and to the legislators. Um, but I've heard no more. Okay. So we well, all the government shut down, so they're not good. They're not making any decisions. For not, not all of so them. we're all good with this one. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm good. Thank you. Um, town clerk expenses. It's an increase of 13 percent. And I think this it looks like it's from really last the year. Codification. Um, and we had voting no. early voting. No, it says a new note. So. Mm -hmm. right, Primarily, the code recodification. Right, I'm good with that. You guys? Yep. Conservation Commission. No change. Eight hundred dollars. Um. Did did um, is that three hundred fifty? Well. 
I think it's, I think the membership dues to the Mass Association Conservation um, Commissions is there. I was hoping that there was a, there's the big, huge um, conference conference CPT. March second. Mm -hmm. I think it's free if they pay the dues. So is that enough to cover the dues? Two seventy. I'll check that out. Yeah, because I, I, right I really am yeah. hoping just that they will go. <laughs> I'll check it out. And, okay. and, and can you just follow up and make sure that they are aware of the registration process and all that? What? Well, I think the new members, the newly appointed, at least one of them has gone to sub-training, maybe both. So I think that there's renewed interest in, in well, participating. Everything I get, I send to all the boards. Here's some training, here's some training. Well, I see Dorothy every quarter now, and she's so fantastic, and she's got so much energy, the executive director. And, and I've already volunteered some training, so it would be really nice. Uh, hosted here? To host here, yeah. So it would be free. And yeah, checking only, on the dues. They only expended 281 bucks, so I don't know if that was the dues. I have about 519 left. If you get government members $100, five memberships with a $100 a year annual fee. So five people could go for $100 Sounds I mean, like to a be deal. part of the organization. Government members get free job hostings on the web website, reduced rates for all educational programs and conferences, reduced rates for all purchases, receipt of MAC monthly and quarterly newsletters, discounts for visiting at conferences. I get lots of bennies. It's 100 bucks for five. Telephones are amazing things nowadays. Well, um, I think I've mentioned this before while we're on this topic. Just um, when we were talking about having a planner before um, Steve Barrett had, before he had left the ConCom a year and a half ago. So he had asked me whether we could do a conservation agent, you know, that could be included in that position. And we talked for a while. And, um, no. <laughs> so um, there's a lot of interest in other local towns in looking at having a shared conservation agent. And so I talked to Louis about it, and he was n not really certain, but that was something that is being discussed. So is that covered by the technical assistance grant that FERCOG is doing for us? Is that one of the things that they're looking at for us? Mm -hmm. DLTA, I mean, we could. What? I think she's asked my DLT. Could we look at that? Could yes. That? No, no, no. I mean, is, did we put that request in? I don't recall. I don't think we did, no. Okay. There were towns from, uh, like, Williamsburg is interest. Remember, um, Joe? Yeah. 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 So. So we good with this? Smile. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> the Open Space okay. Committee. Which Excuse one? $250, no change. Are you guys good with that? Yep. Yep. Uh, planning board, thousand uh, dollars. There's no change. This why I don't know why this is so talk? different than what I had. Do you want planning board? Oh, planning board. Do you, you want to say something? Mixed, it's all mixed up. Yeah. Jeez. I, know I don't have Sorry, anything. Well, Kip and I are the one that's mixed no, up. No, we're, right. we're aligned, Kip. <laughs> we're going right part of the list. Okay. I've got like so. two of everything in my thing, and I'm completely thoroughly confused. So um, I'm, I'm fine with the planning board. No, I think, yeah, we were fine with that. We just that. Yeah. Trevor, see if you can find Planning it. board I've got. You good? Yep. Um, but my no question was, weren't we underwater on that? Or was that no. a different, no. is that planning board expense or something? No, there was actually a, a, a mis, um, yeah, it was a misunderstanding um, of how the consultant contract was working with Pat Smith. So right. she's been giving you an annual uh, amount of the contract of 15, up to $15,000, but she bills it in a reimbursement. So she's, you know, does the work and then she bills you and you, and you pay. Yeah. So um, the included in that 15,000 is not just the general technical system that the planning board's been getting, but also the peer review, and that gets charged to the applicant. So gotcha. we've only been averaging five to 6,000 in the revolving fund for the planning board general technical assistance. And on, a, on a average every year, it's been about 9,000 to 10,000 being billed to the applicants for okay. peer How review. That fund increases when we get fees. Correct. That, uh, how do you know what the balance of that is or yes well I, I don't have it right in front of me but it's about um, it, it seems like it's low right now but there's 
two solar projects, those two solar projects that you had significant fees and those haven't been put into the account yet. But it's okay. it's averaging each year spending the like five to six thousand dollars. That's usually you well, getting so that it, money in and that's what you're sort of spending out. But with both the solar ones, the fees are around uh, thirty two hundred dollars because mm -hmm. we, we did put a cap on that. And we don't spend that money because all of the money we spend is also reimbursed. So that's why I was curious as to what does that fund up to? I, I know that usually I've seen at the planning board means this time of year we get a report on what oh, yeah. the balance is. The revolving yeah. fund right now is about ending balance is around 6257. This was as of the end of December. Yeah. So it carries um, around five or six as well. That's the plan. There was. Evolving. How does the money, how does that money get out of that account? It gets paid to, to Pat. It gets paid for tie and bond. Yeah. Had the well, no, peer, no, not no. for peer reviews. No, right. it's only for general. Get, it so might. It, I, I guess what I'm getting it's at. Yeah, but bill, doesn't the bill come in, or does it go right to the applicant? It comes to the town, but the, the applicant pays us because we get. Right. An estimate. So let's just say it's five thousand dollars. The applicant pays us the five thousand dollars. We get the the bill from the peer reviewer, and we pay it out of there. Right. But I guess my my question was, so if that account is generating income through the fees, and we're paying Pat Smith, so there's no real cost to the town. Right. Correct. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm good. Yes. Zoning board of appeals, thousand dollars, no change. Yeah, they don't, they don't really spend much in the wrong spot. So i got to fix this book after this meeting. <laughs> uh, yep. I'm good with that. That is tricky when they don't line up. Yep. The agricultural, the agricultural $100. commission, $100. Yep. yep. What do they do with all their money? <sighs> Big parties. They're going to be more active they, they this year. This was a big topic at the finance committee last night. What's are that? they needing? What are they doing? They're they're not, yeah. 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 We do. But. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a lot. Well, the new farm bill is just coming out, so hope maybe they'll have a couple meetings this year. It'll be related to that. Maybe we can get a grant yeah. to do more farm. <laughs> Kidding. Okay. Uh, you guys are all set with that, I'm sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, town, town office, office building, building maintenance. maintenance. Yeah, I want to talk about um, that a little bit. I, you know, the only thing I'm curious um, um, Find it. Th this includes the church, and I was just wondering, what, what are we doing with the church? Uh, Basically heating it. Is this just for this town hall? You're saying it includes the church. It doesn't include you know, the senior center. No, it, no, right. I know, but okay. it, the church is. We have church building maintenance, and it says at the bottom, town hall, police, EMS, <coughs> center, church, library. I know, library. but do we have a do we have accurate? <coughs> that must be do we well, have we're accurate under highway, right? No, no, we, don't, we, we don't really have an accurate well, that, maintenance. Was that twenty five thousand um, dollars for maintenance, or is that part of that? Well, it's, it's utilities. So, sure. well, there so two, it wasn't part of that. different 25,000. Okay. Thank you. Do you um, want to address why 25 for? I have nothing in front of me. I am not even remotely prepared to answer okay. those questions. All right. If I did, they would be. So you think, uh, Kevin, you don't, you, pass, Kevin. you don't need offhand, there's nothing you, you have to stabilize or anything. I'm, I'm sorry? Offhand, there's nothing you have to stabilize or anything. Uh, top of my head, no. Okay. I mean, pretty, pretty, pretty much what I, what I put through the budgets are, I think I'm in pretty good shape. I mean, obviously, wastewater, that's I know. a coin that goes in the air. Um, are we the heating the church are. building now, Kevin? I'm sorry? Are we heating the church building yes, now? We are. Yeah, we're we'll keeping it to 50 degrees. The water shut off at the curb stop. The water shut off inside. But heat is on to 50. I, I'd probably want to think about this. I probably wouldn't want to vote on this one tonight because I want to think about this a little bit with the needs at the at the building over there, you know, the senior center. The There's senior center is separate. Oh, I thought it was just said no EMS. Oh, I'm sorry, senior center is right here listed you look at the for custodial the repairs and suing. And it's all the oh. new buildings. Yeah. So he's talking about the whole overall budget. Okay. The buildings. 
All right. I just want to, because uh, I'm going to talk with Christina, but they have a list of you know stuff that okay. they wanted to do, and I, I don't know how it matches up to capital versus Something just general right. maintenance, and I just didn't want to like nail this down tonight without uh, okay. talking with her a little yeah. bit about that yeah. and just making sure we're covering. So let's was put, like a fan so we're gonna put the, it was just miscellaneous stuff, but. Yeah. So we're gonna put the office building maintenance on hold, okay? Yep. That'd be great. Yeah. Okay. All right, town office expenses, $23,000 with no change. Now, is that, te is that telephone bill, is that for equipment or just that's what our bill is every year? It's our monthly cost. It's for the entire cost of the town. Oh. It's a disaster. Okay. Hang on. I'll find it eventually. We are, um, we actually did change our, um, we, we, we changed our technology. We are also moving toward voice over IP, so we're hopeful that those telephone costs may actually come down in the future. But for right now, we need to leave them until we know for certain. Do we have, do we actually have a quote for, I know we've had problems in the past getting an um, actual quote um, for this time of year. For the insurance? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just saying, I'm gonna probably see him, I assume, tomorrow or Friday. I mean, Friday. Nick Garrell. Nick Garrell. And call my, my folks. Like, said, can I stop by now? <laughs> okay. Um, so does this now. also take in consideration, because, you know, we make huge efforts to get credits. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So um, we need to make bigger efforts, and Kevin Kevin knows about this. We really should have a safety committee, um, and um, we, it would make a difference in terms of our. It would. It's an important thing to do, and it also would make a difference in terms of our costs, okay, um, credits, grant opportunities, that kind of thing. So. Okay. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna see him on Friday, probably. Would you would you just make sure we get a printout or a list, or you have some way of of figuring out what things we haven't done, that we can take advantage of, and you know, yeah, yeah, because sure. because I mean, one way to avoid increases mm -hmm. and to keep our costs down is to keep, continue to do as many opportunities for discounts. Mm -hmm. So I think we maxed out last year, but you can only do so many things every year. So you got to make sure. We're doing something different. I mean, there is incentive, obviously, to do it, but it's also good for us. So, if we have some things that we want to do, we should. We did a. a we did. Friday. We did one. Yeah, you'll get credit for going to the conference. I know. I know. Hey, listen. We get credit for everything. But um, also, we just want to check our deductibles because sometimes it's worthwhile seeing if there's more credits for deductibles because sometimes we change our deductible. I can't even find. And. Um, they give different credits but sometimes, so we just want to check that deductible credit. So I'm okay with that. We'll keep an okay. eye on it. Good, Trevor. Yep. That brings us to the end. All right. You sure? I've got 15 more sheets here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let's see. Let's go back and check this. There's one thing that I didn't come across, and that was, it's on my list, but I didn't come across that page, was the accountant's salary. Yep. She'll have, a, I think, a stipend this year, and... I don't think she has it in here yet. Um, accountant expense, right, she might not have it in yet. But, yeah. Oh, no, here, oh, no, it's assessor's salary. No, I, um, I don't have it either. Yeah, I don't think it was in here yet. Okay. It was a slight increase, but not much. It's on that front cover, I guess. But. <clears throat> so did we um, actually go over all the ones that the well, we, finance we, committee did? Did we miss any? No. Well, the only... The only they, went, they did go through some that are in the later section, some of the board and oh, committee and veterans. Oh, count salary. Here we go. Yeah, we didn't... Know. The only two, like I said, that I didn't see was the accountant's salary. This one. I think that Brenda uh -huh. said that maybe the, the things that add salaries might not be in because um, 
we didn't, I didn't you know, you haven't made a recommendation at this point. Sure. I'm not sure oh. if that's the case in your book, but. The only one I have is down a dollar, which doesn't really make sense. We didn't also do sense, contracted so. services. She might not have no, done not, it yet. We're not okay. And the energy committee. Energy oh, contracted committee. services is one fifty nine. Yeah, but we didn't, it's not in here. Oh, you know what? Because it's probably not done. Right. right. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. No, so, so looking at the ones so that the, the other ones that yeah, thank you. Uh, you can the you only ones we're gonna, the only one salaries. that we're putting on hold is. Um, the, town, the office. town office building. Town we don't have the energy yes. committee or the contracted services or the accountant's yeah. salary. So do you want to vote on the, all of those except for the ones we just mentioned? Yeah. I make a motion to approve the ones, um, everything except putting on hold the maintenance office building maintenance. Okay. Want to second that? Or? I'll second that. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, before, uh, you know, are we going to have an opportunity? I just want to talk about that sewer just a little bit. Well, how, do you want to keep going over these, or do you want to well, whatever, go back to work? Well, it's up to you, whatever you want to do. Um, I just want to make sure we have a few minutes to talk about the sewer. Well, that's on our agenda a little further down. So. Yeah. Yep. Um, do you want to look, look over our other budget items here? or? Sure. Okay. We can. The budget must still be approved at town meeting, correct? Correct. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. This is this is just a preliminary. Yeah, we go through, see what's what, okay. where everything shakes out. Right, right, right. Okay. Yep. yep. Yeah. No, we're just starting the process. Right. I thought so. And um, police department expenses. So Ninety-nine thousand six hundred dollars is about a four. Oh, thank you. Four percent increase. Thank you, Wendy. And primarily it's in the price of gasoline, from what I can see. Um, you all haven't met with John yet? Not yet. Okay. You haven't met with anyone. You just did the, the top line stuff. met with met you know, um, I, I don't have any problem with this, but I feel kind of uncomfortable t without talking to our department heads mm -hmm. a little bit. Yep. All right. So um, we'll skip it yeah, over. This is really just a first. Yep. Yeah. Just look at I mean, it. I, okay. So it's kind yep. of a time to look at and develop any questions or, you know, things that as we move along, we might want to. Did yeah. they have. Um, it will, I was just going to say, let's look at if you have questions. doesn't look like there's any issue except John is looking at gas being a slightly higher again. He went, it was started out 32,000, then it went down. I mean, then it went up, uh, no, it's down gone a down little. again recently, but who knows yeah. where it'll be at the end of the year. I mean, um, he's sort of just trying to figure out a guesstimate. Was, was purchasing of the um, motorcycles still, like was that in this expense or does he have that in a different? No, this, I, I, I do That's not in capital, this, right? That was oh. in capital. Which is the next page? Okay. There you go. The hey, only th the me. only item I I mean I would like to talk to him about the cruiser repair. Um, and do we and have a drone yet? Not yet. Do we have a drone? No. Oh. There hasn't been an opportunity for a grant for that yet. Um, they they had one. They used one. Uh, not here, but state police did when they were chasing that guy off at ninety one. Yeah. I don't think it worked, though. You got away, <laughs> though. We'll have to buy one that fires darts. <laughs> <laughs> Tranquilizers. All right. The police department capital request is only the cruiser. Yeah. Yep. I don't see anything else there. <laughs> Emergency management. This is That's the, the, new, the new budget for the new EM. Right. And this is <clears throat> stipend uh, to them. Yeah, with John and... Um, uh, well, Lori, Lori spoke with John and me and with uh, Zach about it, and this is what seemed like on par with other communities as well. So it, it gets a somewhat of a stipend or, you know, recapture expenses um, and to mm. recapture expenses for the Lori Lancaster. Lori, Lori goes down to the quarterly meetings every... Um, yeah, she's been she's been fantastic. And she's been really participating in Absolutely. a lot of meetings. And we um, had... 
Oh, there it says. 4,000 in 2018 that just never got spent? Well. You just didn't have somebody to do what yeah, they no one was. Yeah, no one right. was really going to the meetings. Okay. All um, right. And it's to the advantage. I went. <laughs> yes, I know. Wendy went. But um, this is to make sure that people cover their gasoline costs and stuff when they go to meetings. Because you have to go to dr drive to Aguam or, or to Framingham for meetings. So it can yep. be expensive. And she's done a good next, job. Yep. Next item, we'll get the canine control. Um, actually, um, the, what, what hap has happened is the, you know, the health department in Greenfield is kind of kaput. So the police department took this over kaput. as a main point of contact. Greenfield police? But they're back up now, right? The, the health, they've, no. meaning they've, they've added the money back into the budget. Yes, but they haven't hired anybody. Oh, I got gotcha. you. I have no relationship with anybody. With anybody there, they all left. There's no one there. So, um, you, Gina, it's Gina McNeely from Montague and I, and I mean, as far as I know, everything is the prices are stable. And, mm -hmm. But I mean, there's been no discussion. We haven't been able to get together with Greenfield. So, I was just gonna say, nineteen thousand dollars for dog control seems a bit steep to me. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's wicked cheap yeah. compared Here's to having to hire in our own person. Well, and we have really good coverage, and mm -hmm. police the cruisers are not getting trashed. And I mean, believe me, Kip, it's very good price. Colleen is a. And he, he, he does raccoons, bats, you name it, right? I know. I mean, I know We're not having to go out and do bats and stuff, everything. And yeah. Well, I, I did have a, I did have a morning where I had a goat. A donkey and a horse, and he couldn't help me out. <laughs> well, you got a farm. No, they, they, they weren't mine. <laughs> they weren't mine. Well, I mean, but people call them for everything. We need that awesome. agriculture commission. That's, That's right. Call it animal, 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 animal control. But they were, I'm they were all there at the same time. <laughs> the horse, Green the donkey, and the goat. Like 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 to like be like <laughs> well, I he called the police. Handles everything. I have to tell you, it's so nice to get back. Yeah, moving on. Nothing in three. It's worth it. We don't have payroll. The highway expenses. So two and a half percent about. And where are we? Uh, what's section, section four? Section four. Section four. Four two two fifty four hundred. It's like looking for. A Kevin, new is there anything you want to say about? Um, like. Uh, again, I, I have nothing in front of me. So yeah. I okay. For not to. Yep. So you feel comfortable with this two and two point six percent increase? What, what I put through for for budget. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, I'm sure at some point in the future we'll have Kevin yeah. come in with John. Yeah, I'm assuming it's right. Well, yeah. Bruce. Uh, yes. Does that include a new hire next year? No. This is just, just the expenses. 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 Yep. Um, Salaries here, yeah. No, under transfer station. Okay. Yep. Right. okay. Next one, the winter snow and ice removal. So far, so good. So far, so good. Uh, this weekend will probably go yeah. out well, Friday. <laughs> right. <laughs> this weekend. Well, there's probably no reason to, to change this. I mean, this right. year has been exceptional, but that money will just be turned back anyway. So. Yep. And you never no. know what next year is going to be. Well, we should we do the declaration if we're going to have this? No, we're, if, uh, we're not even beginning to even touch the money. About. No need, sorry. Well, we keep hoping for global warming. We might not have this budget in a few years. So South Carolina. Well, we're supposed to have it by South Carolina um, climate pretty soon. That'd Next. be nice. Not on my watch, but pretty cool. Um, uh -huh. Street. You never know. I might have oceanfront property pretty soon. <laughs> Street lighting. Um, so Did we ever get any further wait, with that? This is what we have. The LED. Yeah, with, with yeah. the LED stuff. Uh, well, no. We're talking about the net meter. We're talking oh. about, yeah. No. I don't know. I, the solar facility. Oh, solar. I'm talking about. I don't know. What, I happen to be going through South Hadley, and what I noticed is that all of their street lights are the new LED that ones. Supposed to come yeah. in and like I that. don't know. Well, we've and we had, haven't gotten So we did, I think Kevin actually had worked with us. We reached out to Eversource, but the, the cost 
to do right. that was really they very cost prohibitive. Yeah. It was very, very high per unit compared to what other utilities had been negotiating with towns. So that's what we thought was. Um, we pulled them out oh, of the office audience. Kind of these, what, <laughs> this, this, this one I can speak to, I can tell you off the top of my head. Okay, um, the thought process went through, you know, should we go ahead and do LEDs? Reached out, talked to Edgar before he retired, and he came back with, and I can't tell you the number off the top of my head, but it was an astronomical amount of number that we have to purchase the lights back yeah. mm -hmm. to take them down. And then we have to purchase and put the lights up, and then we maintain them. Mm. Eversource does not. Right. So it was... I'm going to say it was less than 100000 to to take them down, and we never got a price to put any back up because we're not sure how many more would actually go up because I know there's a lot of people in town, especially downtown, yes. that would really like to see a lot more lights come well, back on, that very was specifically my, that's like, my, like Thayer Street, West Street, those areas in there. You know, people do a lot of walking. You that's, know, um, that's my People comment. are concerned. It's a safety issue. So no, Go ahead. Uh, well, I was going to say, when, when you talked with the people at Eversource, regardless of the cost, they were going to take them down and put them up. Is there any? No, they, they wouldn't put them up. They just take them down. You pay to take them down. Why? All right. But what I was going to say, where I was alluding to is, could we just take them down and put our new ones up? Uh, I don't believe so. They may, I don't know. I, I'm I saying know. Instead Maybe of, you could. Yeah. I don't know if Eversource will let you be no, dealing with their, because you now you're, you're having to do disconnects. Their poles. So would you want me to be disconnecting your house as a, I mean, because you don't know who's. You can blow someone's house up real quick. Yeah, to take them down by yourself. I, I would, I would say not probably not. not. Yeah, I'm not saying that. But, but that's up to Eversource as to whether they'd allow that or not. Where I was heading I with it. this is hiring our own electrical contractor versus yep. the power company. If they're saying that we have to put the new ones up. Correct. I mean, what, you know, oh, yeah, we can put the new ones up. but Well, why can't we take the old ones down? Because it, it's all the same. It's well, I, I get that, but right. it was a question ever asked. I mean, if we if we're hire a contractor. I, I, I did not ask. Okay, and they no. go up in a bucket. We they take off the new the old light and put the new one on. Correct. So... Oh, go ahead, Bruce. Uh, Sunland just went through the process and received grant money for... Uh, for there for is grant money available. Yeah, we've seen this at, when we go to MMA. I, I will research this a bit yeah, more when we're down there. Uh, I'm not oh, no, sure, that, but they, they, they actually the have picked their lamps and they're ready yeah. to go. Yeah, I, th Somebody, I think it's worth looking, connection program looking at yeah, it. Yeah, just check with Sunland. They just yeah, went no, through it. Completely. We'll take a... Well, yeah, I think so. But the other thing, Kevin, though, before um, is is that I wanted to um, make sure that this budget wasn't so low that we couldn't add a couple of lights. Because there are people that have mentioned to me, you know, sidewalks and lighting, I guess, is the thing, other than sewer. Um, but, uh, but people do want, you know, they walk at night and they're wondering, hey, what happened? And I know that we did a study and we've, the Energy Committee looked at that several Correct. years back and removed some, and then a few have been put back on. And I said, well, send us the request so we know that you're looking. Right. Uh, but I would just want to make sure that we had some leeway in here to add another light here and there. If okay, needed. presently right now we do not. Basically what I went off of it was um, usage. Yep. Because when, when the Energy Committee and everybody else got together and they figured out which lights were going to be taking down, once they were marked, they took, they came down, they came down, they're not going back up again. So if you were to go ahead and put another light back up again, obviously at that point, I would probably be seeing what you can do about upgrading to LED at that point. Correct, again, for no anything new, anything see new you going up. Through. But no, there's nothing built into that budget. That is strictly for electricity usage. Okay, that's so, what that cost is. That, that, those are, you know, we may have a little bit of a credit because of the solar project. Correct. But I'm taking no chances. I'm going right. to leave that in there. Yep. So, yep. so I just, just to be clear, Kevin, so are you saying that we, in the town, there are no lights that are not lit that exist? I mean, are all the lights turned on? When you say go back up, you don't mean install a light? No, yes. install a brand new light. Because oh, they, okay. they so physically they It's not just turning arm, it back on. They took them right down. They took them right down. So okay. it's not a deal of just going over and re reconnecting them. Okay. That's why they were very specific in saying, be very cautious on which ones you're taking down because once they go down, they're not going back up. Okay. Right. All and right. we're going to charge you for the ones that we're taking down. So we may. When you say they, you're talking Eversource. They, Eversource. I got you. So okay. yeah, we ended up paying Eversource to take down those lights. And, and could, we could then hire our own electrical contractor I to put assume. up a LED light in Correct. a place that didn't have one Correct. now. Because like Emerson, Greenfield, and those people that have them already, they have their own people that deal with the work. Gotcha. You know, and obviously we'd have to outsource. Right, right. So. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good to know. I don't want to, yeah, we'll just look at this. But yeah. what? While you're there, Kevin, I, 
this decrease, have you seen a, a reduction in the uh, dollar amount on the power bills? What I did, what it, basically what I do is I look to see where I'm at. I look to yep. see what I spent last year. I find out where I'm at so far this year. And then I, I, it's, I just do the calculation. So I look at it. When I talk with Brenda, feasibly, she, she suggested going down another 2,000 below that. But then we talked back and forth, and I says, can you guarantee me I'm going to get that money from the solar? Right. No. I says, then leave it. Right. Well, that, so, I was, and are you caught up to date on the bills on the solar paying that I have the absolutely credits? no idea what's going on. Well, that's, because that's we, what we, we have, behind at which point. is internal right. here up there. That's right. but we have a, we have a contract that's good till I think November of next year. So the price should be, remain stable, um, even though there's been rate increases. Our contract prices through I think October November. I forget when we signed it. But October we, November twenty. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm talking about our third party <coughs> energy. What's that? Our third party energy contract. Yes. Are you talking about? Yes. We just so, actually signed a new contract. Okay. So that. we're one. supposed to be getting a reduction because of the solar fields. Correct. I, I, I yes. spoke with John O'Rourke months ago about how that reflection, and he said that you would see that on your bill. Yes. I, but I have no idea how. Who, who tracks that? I mean, how do we know if we're getting it? We, we get, we get um, it's done through the utility, it, basically. Well, it's not through the utility, but it's Schedule also Z. done through the company that um, Canyon Energy, if they still own it. Remember the young fellow? Yeah, I remember. He's gone. <laughs> um, it took them still, it, they're still straightening things out. I'm still hearing they were billing wrong to Gateway Regional School. That, okay. And so there are things that keep coming up, but we've been getting those credits. They said it would take at least six months, I think, to actually even those out. I can't explain why it's some complicated reason, but I think that this is reflecting that we're actually seeing some of so, that savings. So, so what you're saying is that Kevin should see a reduction when they come through. He should see a reduction in the, the bill. He sees a reduction in his utility bill, and then he's going to get a bill from the solar company right. for the credits. So sometimes the timing of those okay. are off. So that's yeah. why it might look like he's paid less in utility costs, but I just want to make sure we're up to date on the solar bill, because okay. mm -hmm. otherwise it could, you know, even out. Okay. Um, okay. Test well monitoring $50,000. That's pretty much the same thing. I moved. Yep, sorry. So test well monitoring. That's the same. Is this, um, let's see. Test well monitoring still 50000 These will not require any new wells to be drilled. And then we, we had just funded some money at special town meeting to monitor or add a new well or? That was to do a new well, wasn't it? That's correct. Right. We, we ended up having to add a well. Right. Actually, they wanted us to add two, but we negotiated back down to one. So that, that saved us quite a bit right there. Mm -hmm. um, and then the monitoring itself, uh, we're getting a little bit better deal than we did before. Yep. So I think, I, see we're, that. I think we're in pretty good shape. At 50? Consider it. Okay. You know, we still have the engineering and stuff like that that has to go in to fill in the depressions, mm -hmm. but that is kind of up in the air right now because we're trying to wait to find out whether the solar's coming in. If solar comes in, then we can make that part of the project, say, you want to move in here, you fix this. Gotcha. If you're not going to move in here, then I have to move forward within the next <coughs> construction season to take care of the issue. Okay. Makes sense. Um, Council on Aging. I just want to make sure we have the weight per square foot. <laughs> We're street lighting again. Well, that's all that's engineers. That's, I know, but that's what they do. Besides, we, we've got more cover over our transfer station than most do. Five. We've got over four years. Yes. Yes. Okay. Is that with $100? Yeah. Go we'll to the next one. Yep. Veterans District Assessment. Ten thousand four hundred and thirty eight. Mm -hmm. So three um, three that, quarters percent increase. Is that what um, Joanne is saying? No, I call, I um, hadn't heard from them and I called them yesterday and I said did, did we get that? And apparently it was embedded in a in an agenda item they sent out. So anyway, okay. I got that. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Veterans, Veterans benefit. benefits. It's a decrease in sixteen percent to twenty five thousand dollars. We haven't really paid out much. <coughs> Okay. Okay. ADA coordinator. That's fine. Uh, board of health salary. Nope. <coughs> Historical commission. 
Which one is that? Okay. It's in six. I didn't have anything in between the money. <laughs> So eleven hundred and seventy-five dollars. Right. Pretty consistent. Yep. They're pretty accurate. The Veterans yeah. Day Memorial Day expenses two thousand. No change. We ex well, that was reviewed last night. Yeah, we ex we expended everything in two thousand eighteen, right? And then kind of counts for it all. Um, What's that? It, some stuff is offset by donations. Yeah, but um, Brenda said she. Had at the meeting last night, talked had, to John Sage about it. And he feels comfortable with that? Mm -hmm. And that, that was discussed. The yeah. Finance Committee had some discussion about that. Okay. They were satisfied, if I recall. Right. The interest on temporary loans is $5,000. How do we work that out to be such an even number? Because mm -hmm. it's, it's, sometimes you don't even use it. Yeah, we don't really just spend much. It's just kind of a placeholder. Like last year, she didn't use it at all. The year before, she didn't use it. The year before, it was four bucks. Four dollars the year before. So, um, how, yeah, and, and so is she thinking uh, if we did some of that sewer stuff, we probably wouldn't spend more than five out of. Now, temporary loans isn't a yeah, isn't a ban. It is a ban. Yeah, it's the interest on the bans. And what's the interest on, um, say, a million bucks? The reason, the reason that there's not much spent is that there's money sitting in the checkbook. So the only time you really would see that is where she needed to borrow something to we, last for a couple of weeks until we have taxes income. come in. Gotcha. So we, haven't, we haven't hit those, that situation. So okay. it's there as a, just to cover our butts. Okay. Thank you, Skip. That helps. Unfunded sick leave and vacations. So we're we're fund we're funding it with ten thousand dollars. Is that what the OPEB is supposed to be? No, this no, is this is for people who um, currently if we have someone uses up their sick time and we don't have enough money in the budget, or they leave and we got to pay out benefits. And so last year we had to pay out quite a bit. Yeah, no, it was the year before. The year before the 2018. Yeah. yeah. I keep forgetting it. I know. Oh, it just got into 2018. <laughs> Sick time is capped at 4,000 per person. So we had several, must have been three or four of them. Or plus, plus vacation. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Worker, and work, workers' sorry. compensation, it's a slight decrease. Take it. This is based on getting credits. Yeah. Yep. Right. But we to should. Go to yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I said, we try very hard to. Uh, get credits. So I mean a 15% credit is huge. Well, we got to wipe that out when our employment insurance has an increase of 13.5%. <laughs> yep. All right. Okay. The town group insurance. I think that's some of that, most of that's a result of, um, if not all, school employees. Mm -hmm. Does this group insurance includes the uh, school, does it? Yes, this yes. is health insurance. Right, but it's everybody. Now oh, that was an increase of six percent here, or five and yeah. three quarters. We don't know. Is that meeting? They just postponed their meeting on the um, for to January thirtieth, I think. They postponed of the health it. Yeah, I just got a notice. Oh. So we don't know what's going to happen. What about, are we all set with um, IAC? Okay. Um, We don't know what it's going to be. Yeah. So we really, I mean, Wait a What's I'm not sure we should vote on this tonight. No, no, no yeah. just we're, no, we're just, just going to review it. Yeah. Well, the yeah. next one is the group insurance for the tr uh, school. Mm -hmm. So the first one is just, just not town the school, right. just the town exactly. employees. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we decided to separate those out. So the, wow, between the two of them, it's a million dollars. Yep. Mm -hmm. About two-thirds. And that's two -thirds health school. Is that health insurance? Yep. Yes, it's health. Okay. Medicare insurance, that increased as well, 3%. Why are the shared um, teachers put in under the town insurance? Because uh, we get some reimbursement from the other towns. Oh, okay. On that. They, they have right. an agreement among the treasurers to do that. 
Um, do you, Wendy, would you have a, a brief explanation on the group insurance for the town going up five and three quarters, and for the school only going up uh, four and three quarters? She moved the shared teachers uh, reimbursement to the to the shared teachers right here. Right, but the percentage of insurance is that all what it was? It's the only thing that's really decreased. Okay. Who's taking advantage of it? I mean, it, it's such a disparity. All right. I don't, I don't I, I'm sorry. Medicare insurance is up three and almost 4% to 102,000. Oh, jeez. And for COG core assessment, do you have that? I don't have that. Okay. That actually, um, are you going to go? They have the meeting next week. They meet. Next Tuesday no, or Thursday. No, he's the representative. Yeah. And we have the weighted Trevor, votes. That's Trevor what they're going to vote the budget. I know, but he's the rep, so yeah. oh, I know. that's what I'm asking him. Um, yeah, I'm the guy that sits in the corner that <laughs> raises my hand all by myself. Um, I try to save you money, but it doesn't work. Um, so that meeting is next week, and hopefully we'll, kn we'll know what our assessment will be after that. Uh, but let reserve, me know if you're not going to go. I'll reserve go. <laughs> You'll go? No. Don't, don't tell me that. I, <laughs> um, reserve fund tape. for 100000 <laughs> No, I don't have that. Do you, do you really feel comfortable with 100000 still? For, for, for reserve fund? Yes. Okay. Seems to have been working out the last few years, yeah, right? I mean, well, we did increase Other it than, a while ago. Right. I just want to make sure. I think we raised it. A couple of years ago, two or three years ago, it was 80,000 and it's 100 now. Yeah. I just want to make sure you still felt comfortable. I got a ton in my yeah, book. No, I'm I'm done. Done. I'm done. I don't like I got. I got um, two of everything and some I'm missing. So I got like, look at this. I got two reserves. I just want to make sure we had an opportunity to talk about this wastewater. Or OPEB. Well, yes. Uh, just what are we thinking about OPEB this year? Are we just going to float along with the plan we have? I mean, uh, there's been some talk on the finance committee about assessing SCEMS. You might not get it. Um, right? About what? About assessing SCEMS. Well, we uh, that definitely needs to happen. I, I and think we whatever else. For OPEB. For OPEB. Yeah. Yes. And, and my feeling is if we, you know, I think we should get a plan for, you know, for that. And we should be fair across the board and figure this thing out. But well, what, what? It seems to me that there hasn't been any set amount that we've set aside for OPEP. We yeah, not, not a percentage or whatever. Well, we, so it would be difficult to go, to, not difficult, but you know, awkward, I guess is better, to go to SCEMS and say, look, we want 5% or 8%, whatever the number is. We have, we've based on a percentage. We did, we did 4% of previous year's costs. Right. Was so it 4% both years? Yeah. Or so you should be wastewater treatment and SCEMS. Both need to be assessed. Because those are the enterprise funds. Yes. Um, so if we assess at least get, you know, I know I know it costs, what did they say, 3,500 bucks an employee a year is what it goes up. And I don't think we're going to no, hit them with that. Uh, but, I, but I do think it should be whatever, that's why I think whatever we have for a plan going forward, we should assess everybody that so same. So 4% of the payroll. But, yeah. Right. All right. And the, the school has their own? Uh, the, the school, school does, not been doing they haven't done a lot, but they do have something going on. I'd like to talk to them a bit about that as Aren't well. They, yeah. they don't have anything. They have a state Nothing. retirement Oh, is it system. Frontier? Oh, maybe it's Frontier. Frontier does. Yeah, you're right. I don't know what they put in. Yeah, but we should talk about anything. that. So we do be still assessing the Oh, you're right. Also. Yes. Yes. And it's 4% of what we pay out. And I guess, can we get that number? The retirement, exactly. What, whatever is 4% of that retirement. Well, I think that included the school. Probably, if it's at 3,500 bucks. The with the schools, you don't know what the retirement is because the teachers are covered by the state, but not for their, for, for their retirement benefits, but not their OPEP benefits. Correct, correct. Well, I'd love to have a group talk about that a little bit more and find out, you know, get a get a plan going. I am not going to another class. <laughs> I, th I think you ought to. I'll do take that, that really on. Do yeah, I do too. I think you have a formula and you should be in tune and say, "This is what." Yeah. We do. Okay. Maybe I can talk with you guys about that. 
Well, is that um, the four percent is fairly accurate? I mean, we could bring that up at the next STEMS meeting. It, just, it's all over the place. We, People are doing guessed, all different. That was our five years. years. This, yeah. To us, this seems like very, the most until we get the, some other funding the most coming in, like form marijuana yeah. or well, whatever. I, you, you've seen the, the funds that we're putting into the retirement, Franklin County retirement. Yeah. So it's four hundred thousand, I think it was. Yes. Uh, and ten years ago, we weren't putting any of that in there, yeah. or something. Wow. Like but my point is, if we're putting in four percent as a community, then. All of, all of the SKIMS employees, regardless of the organization, are Deerfield employees, so that right. should be the same 4%. Yes. yes. Yeah, and I agree. We charge it back. Yep. Yeah, yep. we just yep. charge that back. Yeah. But, but it's mean, something we still need to bring up to the Board of Oversight to, yeah. to discuss, anyways. It needs to go to the Board of Oversight, but <coughs> tell them we, we just have to. I think it's important to try to stay current on this in case this isn't some other thinking, fighting, general right. thinking comes along. I, you know, yeah, I'm hoping, you know, it's just, if we get It's a, not worth, we've gotten this far. Let's keep skip moving. a couple of years of going to work, any more work. Okay. Oh, I don't know about that. Really? I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep going, going on it, Carolyn. Yeah, right, I think it's over so damn boring. Our, our, <laughs> Zach and Brenda can figure that out, put it into the Our next, I, next item on the agenda is our classification compensation plan. I'm, I'm not ready to make any commitments at the moment. I, I think we could. Oh my word. I, mean, I think we could. I mean, I, I, I think we could base it on the steps and then just decide what we're going to do a little bit later. Well, I think, I think Brenda really needs it, right? To get yeah, this we done. Need, we all need it. They all need it. Yeah, but why I'm prepared can't we to move forward. Brenda said if we don't vote on it tonight, she's not going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> I'll vote on it tonight. So unless you're really good at accounting. Voted on that. Yeah, yeah, but how do, how do we know oh, what we're going to do? Th th this is how you know. We have one choice here and one choice there. You just pick a hand. It doesn't matter. I mean, it might, it, whatever you think is better, the right or the left, and, and then we're done with it. So, so I have, uh, you're, you're yes. going to do the right one, I assume. <laughs> I'm going to be the right one. <laughs> the, the, the problem is... Yeah, I'll make the motion, Carolyn. Yes, get on the okay. table. No, get but on I'm the not, table. I'm not, I'm going to make a well, letter. How do you know? I'll stay. Without knowing what the motion if, if you, I think we should have a step. There's no question. Or we have to have figure out so, some way to keep the compensation schedule current. I'm going to put a motion on the table and then we can discuss okay. it. So I'm, I move to um, accept the compensation schedule that we have currently and um, all our employees would get a step and um, in concurrent with the schools and everybody else in town, uh, we have a 2% COLA. Do we have a second? I'm not ready to second that yet. Because I'm, I, I think I would make a counter motion that we include, that we include the, sal the step in the salary schedule for now and, and figure out our budgets and then worry about a COLA later on. Well, I don't know what else there is to decide. I mean, I think those are our two choices. I, I, looking at our budget, I, you know, um, I've been looking at this a lot and thinking about it hard. I think um, most of the employees in town are covered with a 2% COLA um, going forward. Uh, we have negotiations going on now for going forward, and we'll have to talk about that. I, looking at the research next year does not look good for COLAs. Um, they look, you know, just this year it's based on oil, and I think it was housing, a couple other things. but. Um, that, that drove that number up to 2.8, um, and I wasn't going to offer a 2.8 COLA. Um, but I felt the schools have been getting 2%. That's a bulk of our employees. I feel so like. 2.5%, by the way. Right. I can't, did they do one the first year and then 2.5, 2.5? Two two yes. I think that's what they did. So then I just feel like um, there's no reason our, our, our town employees need to be. Um, need to be treated any different than our, than our other oh, no, I town agree. employees. I and agree. I think if you're going to support, which we have, has been in the budget, a 2% COLA for the majority of the employees of this town, um, our other employees deserve the same. Bruce? Uh, yes, one comment on Trevor's motion. If you're going to accept the school's 2%, accept their classification compensation schedule also. 
which ours is I don't have that. Uh, which Go ahead. Ours I'll let you finish. Greater than theirs. Mm -hmm. So you can accept theirs and the two percent cola, and that would be fine. Yeah. But first, I'd like you to speak to the skims issue. Has, has anybody spoken to Sunderland and Waitley about this increase in their town assessment? No. No. Not not the cola. Only the step. Only the step. And did they have any comment? What was their opinion? It was just that the blue that they were budget budget together. No one, no one has a problem with the steps. Okay. What well, would they have a problem with a seven percent raise instead of a five? Because that's what it is. Yeah. I'm just asking the question. Is no Waitley really been? No, no one has brought up any discussion. I think it needs to be discussed, and it also oh, should be discussed because the sewer users are going to have the same issue. Oh yeah. We're going to be a two percent increase on the sewer users, mm -hmm. and a two percent increase on the other two towns, and 50, we pay fifty percent of the skims budget. So w without th that happening, I know they weren't happy last year. That well, we went with a step and a coal. We were trying to. I'm not going to base my pay of my employees on two other towns. It's this town that I care about. That's our fine, employees. That's fine. That's fine, Trevor. But except if you're going to do that, except the current. I. I it, do you feel the elementary school teachers' schedule and accept the IA schedule? And accept well, that's their workers, non-union workers schedule. That's and bring it all into the same. If you're going to pay everybody the same, pay everybody the same. Don't make it different. What you're going to do? Well, what I would say to that is that I don't have their. I, I'm not going to adopt their schedule this year. But I do agree with you that we should look at the compensation schedule because I have recognized that the steps are larger. Um, based on the schedule we adopted the last couple of years between, um, between what the school may get in one section and what, what our towns get. Um, yeah, go ahead. Just the 2%. We adopted this new compensation schedule in 18. Mm -hmm. Step grade six, step 10 has gone from $39 to $41.58 mm -hmm. in two years. Then you include the 4% raise in the step. Well, so if you want to keep, keep increasing the salary by 2% of a year, that's what you're doing. Well, we may not. This year we are. Well, we have the last two years. Yes, we have the last two years. But it doesn't mean it will be every year. It could the problem be. It could be well, higher. The problem well, that I'm not satisfied with is, Bruce, is that we need to keep the compensation schedule current. And there isn't a good way to keep it current. Well, there is. How? You can continue with 10 steps. You eliminate step one, take step 10, add the same amount of money between steps and make 11. So you have two through 11. Now you have step 10. The problem with that is that nobody, uh, you'll never reach the, the highest paid step. You always, uh, the, Steps will always increase by the, by the step increase, and you always get the cold if you do it that way. Yeah, no. but you will end up with a ten-step program, which will be have a high and a low, but the high and low will change every year. So my and that's not the intent of the compensation. Right. Program. My my understanding of this compensation schedule is that we have a certain rate. If you're at step ten, this is what we think that that position should pay. And, and as we hire them on earlier in their years and experience, we pay them less than that. And as they, grew, as they grow in proficiency and experience on the job and longevity here and understanding their, their job, they move up to that, that step 10. When they get to step 10, that's what the job pays until that compensation schedule and a study of what that job entails or maybe, maybe, um, maybe also the, the jobs that we're asking these people to do in 10 years changes. So uh, the, the work that they're asked to do now um, and the, the requirements they need to do now may be different in five years or 10 years. So we may have to look at that schedule completely different and, and adjust them accordingly. 
but I don't think, um, so I don't think, it, I don't think once you get to step 10, we just automatically, you know, make another step for you. I think step 10 right now, currently, that's what that job pays. If you've made it 10 years and you're there, that's it. You don't get another step. You're at your top. It pays 2% more every year. If we, if we do a 2% cola, yeah. it does. But if next year there is year. no cola, I'm then it isn't. They're at their top. Everybody else gets a step. The top people are at their top. It is what it is. In five years, 72% of the employees, the 46 town employees and SKIMS, including the wastewater treatment plant, will be a step 10. That's what I would love them to be at step 10. Yeah, so it's long, a good thing. Longevity. And then everybody will be a, get a cola raise and that's it. Correct. Correct. That's, that's the whole idea of the plan, to just to keep it stagnant but keep the plan growing so that, yes, when they the get the... doesn't grow. The plan well, what I mean is keeping it current in the, with a cola. So if it goes up 1% or a one and a quarter one year, that's what it is. If you're at step 10, that's what that job entails. Unless we do a full study and their job at step 10 takes on more responsibility for some reason or another, then we decide that that pay should be higher. One, one last comment. The uh, superintendents of three of the departments are at step 10. They'll be getting a 2% COLA increase and their employees are getting 7%. Yes. To 7%. That's, that's correct. That's what you want to do. Yep. Jeff. As I had stated last year at our annual town meeting, I'm not opposed to our town employees receiving raises. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not the issue. Uh, the issue is, though, that I was concerned about it becoming automatic raises. Mm -hmm. And there is discussion uh, at that annual town meeting as far as creating a process for evaluation and there is supposedly going to be written evaluations. There is going to be an evaluation tool, an instrument to use to evaluate the town employees. There is going to be training for the evaluators. And there is going to be written evaluations for the employees. Did any of that take place? No, it did not. Uh, I think is any of that going to take place? I think it should take place. The, the trouble. Well, it's been it's been nine months basically. Yeah, uh, it's yes. been years. And, I agree with yeah, that. But, so, but no, I just it's a it's a point that I think is valid. It is valid. If if we're comparing, uh, you know, or trying to compare with school and so on and so forth, they're evaluated. Right. There's I, a, I there's agree. There's a process no. there. It would be it would be nice to have a process. We have That's a one-person HR department, a one-person purchasing department, a one. Per, you know, I would like to see it happen. I said it would happen. I couldn't get it done because I had so many other things to do. I agree with and you, we have, Jeff. We, I, we don't I, have it, enough. It staff. seems fair, and there needs I to be a, right. been a fair way to do that with but, limited staff and. You know, but, but, in a town think, where everybody I think knows we need to who figure they that are. out, and I think we need to figure that out soon. Can and I, I think it would be I fair not only to the taxpayers, but I think it'd be fair to town employees too to I let agree. them know where they stand. I agree. Can I just add something to that, though? Mm -hmm. the, it's important to do that. I agree, but not to tie it to whether an indiv individual gets a raise or not. They're not merit-based. We've had That's this discussion over, over, over and over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. I told the personnel committee too. All right. At some point in time, then it, then it just becomes an automatic raise if that doesn't take place. Oh, well, I, I, I almost, you know, a, after the last couple of years of looking at this, it, it almost does feel like steps are an automatic raise because we feel like they're gaining experience. And I think if they're not doing their job and they're, you know, not coming in, you know, insubordinate, all that other stuff, I, I think our department heads would weed out those employees pretty quick. We're fortunate to have really good employees here that work hard and for the most part, you know, for the most part and do do a great and I, job. And, and, and I'm not no, but I agree. I've made that statement many times that we have some great. I know you employees. do. I know you believe in that. Yep. Skip. Hang on a second. We. I just want to point out, and I think Jeff, you'll agree. You sat on, I assume, when you were teaching, mm -hmm. that you were on a salary schedule of some sort. Yep. And that your pay was not based on the results of that, your evaluation. Your, you, you, might, you might have gotten fired if you, if you blew it. Yep. But if you didn't get fired, you got your pay raise. 
based on whatever the contract said you were going to get. At least that's the experience that I've had, both here as a school committee member in Deerfield and as a, a teacher up in Greenfield. So long as my evaluation kept me in the job, I got my pay raise, which included the, the obvious going up from grade or from step one or two or three or four to the next step up. In addition to that, there was a COLA that was there every year. How much? It was whatever was negotiated. It's the same thing in, in Deerfield School Committee. But you said, I don't know what happened three years ago, but the last two years, including the current year, 18 and 19, that was a one, that was a one, a two and a half percent increase. And I think you're probably right. It three years ago, it was only one. So it was a net of two percent, an average two percent a year cost of living increase. Then, did you verify that? Oh yes. Okay. So no, that's fine. We, we, you've got some employees here. Maybe you want to ask them a couple questions. Take some questions yes. from them. Yeah, just very quickly on a, a follow-up of what Skip was saying. As far as the raise is pretty much true, but at the same time, if you were coming up short, if staff has come up in short in different areas in that, then it was a requirement. There'd be a, a recommendation of courses you had to take, mm -hmm. training you had to take at your expense if you wanted to keep your job. So there are mm -hmm. there are benefits of an evaluation. Yeah, I agree with that. There's, there's no question about it. Yep. And so if, if something came along in uh, as far as updating licenses or whatever the case may be, because I worked in a vocational environment, uh, you were required to do that. And if you didn't do that, then you could be released. I, I agree with so. you, Jeff. I, I think they're very valuable. I, I don't get a, a raise every year just based right. on the way I get paid, um, but, but I value my uh, evaluation every mm -hmm. year because it lets me know where I need to improve and what I've done good, and uh, it's not tied to any you right. know, bonus or anything like that. It's just you have this is what you need to do, this is what you did mm -hmm. well, this is what you need to improve on. And I, I, I would love to see that instituted. With, it's going to take some well, help. Well, evaluations also let you know what you're doing well. Yes, and, and it feels good to too. hear that. I mean, it we, feels good to we, hear we, from We all agree we just don't have the staff capacity to do everything that we have to do. So I'd love some help to try and figure that out. Uh, Bruce, you're first. Um, the, the personnel board proposed anywhere from for seven people a two percent raise and for the remaining 44 percent anywhere from three to five percent raise that's what they recommended yes yep just have yep. that on yep. yep so the public knows what we recommend yes okay kevin i i agree with the um compensation plan the way it works at this point in time the reason why i say that is I'm going to take John, for instance, okay? John, he came in, he had all of his licenses. We required a Class B, he shows up with a Class A. We required a Class B or 2B hydraulics license, he has more licenses. Town of Sunderland right now, every time they go ahead and look for somebody, $20 an hour and not getting anyone. Our compensation plan at this point in time right now is very low when you start. When you start low, and basically what I told John was, is look, I know this is tough, because this is, this is, it's a huge pay cut of what you're taking, but look at the horizon. See where you can go. If you're here for 10 years, this is where you're gonna get to. So you can eventually get to where you need to be. But again, a lot of the problems I run into is like when I try to hire people, is how do you expect me to bring somebody in that has all of the licenses for 14 bucks an hour? So I'd be like, so, 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 so Kip, let me ask you this. So if you've got a kid that comes out of the tech school, what do you pay him when they come out of the tech school? Ballpark. Not, not much experience. Right, today, probably $12 an hour. Okay. Okay, so, so now if you brought somebody in that you can just say, this is the job. You turn around, you walk, you go home, you take a sleep, you do whatever, you come back, it's done. What would you pay that person? 25 bucks an hour. 25 bucks an hour. So why would, you, why would I be paying him that's got the experience, that's got the licenses, $14 an hour when he's worth 22? Because I, he, he starts low and he looks at the horizon to where he can possibly go to. 
with stability, I, I, with good benefits. Exactly. You know, and, 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 and I took a 50% cut when I came to work for the town. Am I happy with my job? I love my job. You know, and do I like the benefits? Yeah. I mean, do I like the atmosphere? Sure. Do I like we not really had a whole lot of snow this year? Yeah, definitely. But we still, we still went out. You know, a lot of people go, well, you know, you, you really didn't do much this year. Well, we still had 24 treatable incidents that we went out in one plowable storm. So, you know, we're still out there. We're still nights, weekends, this coming weekend, holiday weekend. Yeah, we get paid our overtime, or they get paid the overtime. Um, but they're working for it. And again, you know, a lot of people think about like the police department, the fire department, all these other places. They've got shift B, C, D. We have no shift B. It's eight of us, and we take care of the entire town. So if we've got a two-day storm, we're here for two days. So these are the things that we need to look at, and what the people actually go through. You know, because there are studies out there. You know, you you go ahead and you start messing with people's sleep. It physically. A, a, does things to them. So you're going off it, and I know there's a lot of people swing shift where they work this and that and the other thing, but that is the choice of that they signed up for. It. Very similar to that, this is what we signed up for. But again, we also look at this is where you start, this is where you could possibly go to, and that's why we stay. Again, the benefits and the whole nine yards. And it's great people, they really are. Yeah, good. You know, I, I can honestly yeah. say, because I've, I've dealt with a lot of people in my career, and I can honestly say my crew is probably the best I've had. It's good to hear. So it's really good, good to hear. Thank you, Bruce. Just to clarify the issue of starting at the bottom, personnel bylaw allows for the department head to come to the personnel board with a um, a, a description of the employees, new employees, um, the, what they have is. A, licenses or whatever they uh, extra other than study at the bottom and they can either start three step four we, we will look at that that's not what i was told i understand sure. that is the bylaw right. oh, okay that is the bylaw well then that's, and that's, that's what you should that's what you should have done i agree and anybody that comes in with more experience than somebody just out of school can be looked at and evaluated by the personnel board make a recommendation to the selectmen that they hire them at a step three, step grade four, or grade four, step three, or step five. Mm -hmm. we, we've done it all the time. So there's no reason why department heads can't do that. And that is the bylaw. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. If I could add one last. <laughs> Nobody's checking me. Every, everybody, at least to some extent, yeah. as, seems to agree that if, you know, the top step is 24 bucks an hour, I don't hear a lot of people complaining too much about it. Everybody would like to, you know, be able to, well, if we could get it down to 21, it would be better. But if it's $24 an hour, and you're going out and you're hiring somebody at uh, $16 an hour, I think that would be the, the starting step one. Instead of complaining about the fact the guy's going to get a 5% raise the next year, plus a COLA if you're giving him one, so might get a 7% raise, why don't you start sitting back and saying, hey, we did a great job here. We brought somebody in who's going to, this job is worth 24 bucks an hour, and we bought some, brought somebody in at 16. Great job we did. Okay, so. We, we need to vote on this, and we can either choose to follow the personnel board's recommendation or not. So I think I have a motion on the table. I haven't gotten a second yet. I'm not ready to second that. Okay, so do you want to make a different motion then? I make a motion that we um, approve the steps and that we put the whole COLA on hold until we get more into the budget process. I think that's, uh, it's a bit ambiguous, I just. Why? We need because to see you don't, the Because the people don't really know, the department heads don't know what the number impact, to use. It will literally take five minutes the to take your, the, each department head to adjust their salary line by 2%. The, the impact the on our town is $23,000. Uh, That's what we're talking about. I, 
Uh, all right, one more, to Bruce, go ahead. People. Go ahead, Bruce. That does not include skims or wastewater treatment. Sure does. Yeah, it does. I think it does. Yes, it does. It includes I everybody. I think there. I had numbers earlier that was like thirty something, right? Um, yeah. yeah, it's wrong. I I asked. I got an updated one. It's. I think she had. I think she had all the. She explained it to me, but she had doubled some of them, so it's not accurate. I know. Same calculation shows thirty thousand dollars. And that's what I had yesterday too, and I said, "Are you sure that she said no? I've got I've got a new one that I, she was making an assumption, and she was doubling some of those." So even at that, it goes from fifty-seven thousand, which is the raise Correct. that we're offering. Fifty. Over 40, 50 right. Fifty. Which is an Fifty-one average. or something. It's fifty thousand nine hundred. It's an average. Yeah, fifty-seven thousand. Well, I told you. And if we add the twenty-three to it. You're looking at $80,000 increase in salary. Bruce, just to get something you said about the bylaws, the uh, <coughs> bringing someone in and having that, that's not in the bylaw. That's just been a kind no, of. It's a, in the bylaw. It is? I should have brought it's, them. We can I, I have, we have them on our phone. on your phone. We are looking. It's in section uh, one. Compensation plan? No. Thirty-five. Thirty-five is the section. The difference that we're talking about is twenty-three thousand four sixty-nine ninety-four. Or fifty-seven thousand. So you're compensation. Fifty percent more Three. than what we're offering. Uh, fifty thousand is the step, and twenty-three would be the two percent cola. Yeah, so you're fifty percent more than fifty thousand dollars. Yes. I feel good. I feel good. I think. I, think I ask you to reconsider your motion and just follow the compensation plan uh, from the uh, personnel board. You make the motion. I haven't decided. I'm, I think I might abstain from there by twelve. Well, it will go nowhere then. Yeah. All right. I mean, I just. I mean, I table it for a little bit. Thirty-five, twelve. Thirty-five is the whole person. Well, I, my view on it is that we don't have a budget yet to know the floor. What do we do? Listen, will you please listen to what I had just I, I, come I, from a little bit here? I listen to you. The federal government is shut down. At some point, <laughs> it's gonna if it continues, this is gonna affect its payments to the state. Okay. Hmm. When I first started this selectman, Mitt Romney decided not to pay. Um, he was short some money, so he decided not to pay for the, the school, his share of the school. It had a huge impact on us. It had, we had to come up with our, the state share as well as our share in the, you know, to adjust. So we don't really know what the state is going to cut at some point if this trickles down, continues to trickle down. So we don't know how it's going to impact our budgeting. We don't know what our budget, what the schools are bringing forward. So we don't know what our overall budget is going to be. I, I, I feel very comfortable with the fact that we can do, a, you know, the step increase in the initial budget because I think we all support the compensation plan. But I don't want to be faced with, do we have to lay someone off? We've been very, very careful over the years not to be able to lay off anybody. We've been able to figure out a budget that it does balance at the end of the year. People have gone back and forth and put a lot of hours in it. So we have been a very stable employer. And I think that's what's real. And we have stable finances. And there's, why rush into this decision? I, you know, I value our employees 100%. We have excellent employees. And, and, but that means we should be, continue to be fiscally conservative and be prudent. And, and I, and I agree with you, and I, I think that, that old, this might sound very weird, but I'm, that's the way I am. You know, the old saying that we're the town fathers, we're supposed to look out for our, our town. And, you know, too many times I feel like I'm a pinata up here, because it depends on the people that I'm looking at as to, you know, what side they're going to hit me from. 
you know, and that, you know, I don't always agree with the highway department's purchases. I don't agree with all of the police department's purchases. I don't agree with the sewer, you know, going to be done like this. I don't agree with the library. It doesn't mean that I'm against any of it. It's just that when you look at the big picture, people are going to start, they saw it this year, our tax rates stayed the same, and our taxes went up. When we start doing the sewer thing and the people have sewers get an additional $1,500 sewer bill and their taxes go up another $300 and then, you know, this is what's coming and we haven't even got to the high school, which that's another swing at the pinata. People here are really going to be faced with you either go for these debt exclusions or overrides or you pay another three or $4,000 a year. And, you know, sometimes you, you know, I'm not saying not to give the employees uh, raises, I think a 5% raise is a good one. I'm not saying don't buy a new truck, but maybe not so expensive one. And we, you have to work collectively, all of us. You have, it's a give and take thing all the way around. Because if you just keep giving and giving and giving, all the people that we're trying to help with this conversation, they're going to have to move out of town. It's going to be worse than Amherst. You, they're not going to afford, the, you know, people are going to have a $1,200 mortgage payment and an $1,800 monthly tax bill payment. Well, that's where we're heading. And we're going to have not, those payments anyways, and our employees actually are taxpayers in the town. I understand that. But so we're, you know, they're in the same Most of our employees boat. live in town. I'm, I'm, I understand that. But, and, and that's why, you know, you might, it might not sound like I'm trying to save them for it, but it's only the employees issue tonight. But tomorrow night, it's the sewer, and then well, it's the library, and then it's the it's high school. we haven't done anything for years. Like, we, we have put not, off why do you say that? these larger expenses and, and have can, not done, well, we have not done 19? that investment. And well, so, yeah, it's all coming now, and it hurts. It, but it's going to hurt big start, time. I mean, you, right. you can't yeah. ignore it. We're, right, but you can't, you, you, you need to, you have to get a good compromise. And that's mm -hmm. not what happens at this board. It, it's always, you give in. And, and mm -hmm. you know. Kip, that's not true. I will make my decision based on what the budget looks like at, at, when we get more into the process. But I don't yeah, feel comfortable having a full, making that decision at the moment. That's okay. too much up front. All right, so let's move on and talk about wastewater system since we can't make a decision. So uh, I talked to Dave Prickett today mm -hmm. and he um, had a good conversation with um, DEP, the man, in, uh, and I, I think it's Dave, is it Dave? Dan. Dan, Dan in, um, in Sunderland, and he was favorable to the idea of, that we came up with the other night, and he said, can you please put that into um, you know, an email document, send it to him. He would put his letterhead on it, send it on to the state. Um, he thinks that there may be um, probably going to be a sit down maybe with Kevin and um, one other person to just... Um, probably face to face tell them what we're you know that we're serious about doing this and I think they'll grant us the time that we need to get this moving and Good. so he felt really good about that process and um, was happy with the outcome of that discussion and so we're just rolling forward I guess Good so, um, I had a meeting yesterday Kevin, Kevin has, has to oh. add maybe the, I just, don't just add into that um, they basically stated that they would be <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> I complain about that when I watch it. Right. <laughs> right. Um, you can take it back to your seat if you want. Exactly. They, they will uh, um, be issuing this consent letter, an actual consent at that point. But that's after we come to a agreement as to what we can do. We're looking for the construction season of 2019 to be able to accomplish this. And if we can, we should have it done by December. Um, they'll be happy, we'll be happy because that'll give us one more piece of paper that we'll be able to put into mm -hmm. the paperwork when we go in for our grant. Do the, that will put us just a little bit higher on the food chain as far as being able to get the grant. Right, so did they give you an actual timeline, like what we have to do to get that consent letter? Well, uh, yeah, Dave's gonna the, get that. Just, they just said it, we're, we have to write a letter, we're gonna go back and forth, yep. and then we're gonna have a sit down, and as soon as we get that sit down and the letter, Everything is and that'll be so ironed that'll out, be and then at that Did point, then they will sound. issue us okay. a consent I'm, letter. Yeah, but I know, but sometimes it's like no, so, no, we'll, I mean, we'll no, no. This is this is really, we're, we're okay. trying to get this thing accomplished by next week. Oh, perfect, yeah. perfect. So that, that's the plan. But again, depending you know, on what wanted, their schedules are, that's what exactly. I wanted to do was mm -hmm. lay out our game plan right now, a mm -hmm. timeline for our game. Plan. Yeah, no, we're 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 trying to fast forward this thing. I mean, because okay, by no means do you ever please don't ever think that we're trying to slow this down. Because no, we're the no, ones no, been pushing know, it for the I, past four or five years. But the the fact so. is, we just we have to stay on top of it, and yep. so oh, that's I, why I wanted to talk about it because um, 
I met yesterday with uh, NRCS offices are still open till the end of the week, and so I went down there to try to figure out some stuff. And um, Jim McGovern actually is not. I found out he's not on the Ag Committee anymore. He's just he he's had to give that. He had he's chair of the Rules Committee, but um, John and, and the no, Nadelsky, his staff person, says he's still committed to agriculture and our you know, would be our following our application and all that kind of stuff. But the problem is, what happens is the delegation, Massachusetts delegation, years past, especially any kind of thing that related to USDA stuff, um, whatever Jim said, everybody else voted the same. But there is nobody else in Massachusetts that's on the committee. So this is a, the other person that I've worked with in the past, Ann Custer, she's from New Hampshire. She's okay. But she's from New Hampshire, not Massachusetts. She so, might be watching, so be careful. Uh, but what we're going to have to do is figure out how we're going to follow it. But if we if we go through John, I think what we can do is get the letter out and then have John make sure he connects with all the other staffs in the Massachusetts to make sure that happens. Mm -hmm. And then everybody else, everybody sort of votes the same. But we're going to have to now have this lead. We'll have to work through Anne, which will be kind of weird because it's another state, but I do know her. Um, so what we have to do is, Wendy, is there a way you can decide whether we're going through Richie Neal's district office or his Washington office? Can you look through the staff and see? Are you talking about for the USDA? Yeah, yes. Who, who do the you lobby. know? Um, uh, we'll figure that out. Easily. Yeah, but we need to figure it out like tomorrow so that we can start making the process. And then what I would wanted you to do, because you know you're only going to be here a little bit more time, is draft a letter um, for the finance committee for Skip to sign, and then for the capital um, committee for Jeff to sign, so we can have them like ready to go like sometime next month. And so we have a constant effort of phone calls. We make phone calls. We make letters every like 10 days or so so that we stay on top of this process. And we have a game plan all worked out to schmooze this through. Because, I mean, this is how it works. You should send them some ch chocolates from Richardson's. That might help, too. No, but this is. It may Kip, actually help. It might. Kip, it's millions of dollars. This is very serious. Yes. We I have to have a game plan. Box of it's serious, I know. I would be happy to contact. Okay. Uh, Congressman you. Neal's office, he's Ways and Means in the House, is really, really bigger than any of all that. So yeah. we'll I know. Him. So, I'll but if that. we if we get John working through McGovern's office and get a commitment for him to call through and oh, and I'm um, now. you know do the USDA <coughs> follow the USDA? Last you John moved on from, the the from his yeah. office. At, I don't know. Especially well, let's talk separately yeah. about it. But I, well, I just want to make sure we're absolutely not. Like, oh, we'll get to this. We need to have, make sure that we're actually have a game plan that Diana can just latch on to and, and we're like set. Because the money, once the government reopens, the money will be allocated under the farm bill and we want to be at the top of the list. And the farm bill was signed. Yeah, the farm bill's already done and approved. It's just not been appropriated. Nothing's been appropriated. What, do we know when they're going to submit it? No. Uh, yeah. um, the application. To very, I think very after the clear. consent order, I'm assuming right. we're going to send it in. So as soon as they do, I, that's when I will right. call. So, so we're going to ask Dave Cricket to do a, a cover letter and then us a cover letter as well, right? So yes. I'm not hearing from you. You're what? Nothing. Would you? So you'll be working on our cover letter too. So that's done. Pretty soon, right? Because the, the thing is, Wendy, you, we need you to focus on that before as the number one priority before you leave, because there's so much money involved, and and so if we have drafts all ready to go, um, and follow-up drafts, will is it ready? Have, Do we have an amount? Do we have exact information? I can put it I'll into a letter, that. and I'll I can have that, that for your next meeting. Perfect. If well, we have that's all what that, I'm hoping is next know. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We'll have our cover letter we can approve. If I, ha if I have the information. Yeah, mm -hmm. if we can get it. in writing, okay. not verbally. Okay. Yeah. Speaking to that, I would like to uh, ask the sewer study committee to get together on their own once again and to start reviewing that packet that uh, Mr. Prickett has prepared. 700-something uh, pages. 
And um, I think that trying to coordinate all the different people and us and with our busy schedule, just to let them go review it and they can come back and report what they're finding and stuff like that. Do you mean the, um, the assessment? Or the handout, the, the handout. Not the application, the just, just the whole, the whole thing and stuff like yeah, that. I think he's gonna I, have that larger. Yeah, and thing. I, he said and it was I like 95% there. I, I don't know if uh, Eric, it's, it, it emailed you, but the, you know, some of those questions the other night I think were extremely important, and mm -hmm. I don't know, I, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you, if you grasped the, the, the whole thing, but what well, was brought forward is that in, there was a cost of ballpark a million dollars to fix this clarifier, which we know we need to get done. The repair or replacement of that clarifier was also in the third phase at mm -hmm. a much higher price. So the question was posed to our consultant, why the difference in cost? Where this repair was a more accurate accounting of the cost through I physical it was content. Temporary, temporary cost of no, 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 uh, the no, clarifier. No, no. no, there's a temporary the answers on that. There's a there's a temporary uh, clarifier cost on the truck. Right. right, but the cost of the actual construction was different, and the phase three price was more of a ballpark figure. Well, there's a big, big difference, which is about what sixty percent or something like that. So you have to realize, if all of that work to come up with that twenty-eight million dollar price. If the engineer charges us 10 percent, that's 2.8 million. When the actual cost of it comes out to be 16 million dollars, his fee should have been 1.6 million. But at that point, we've already paid. Yeah, but are we million. just going by phases, anyways? Though we'll get to that too. I, I right. see yeah, what but, you're saying. But yeah. you know what you mean. So, but I'm yeah. just saying that that's why I think it's so important that these people, especially with Eric and Josh. Uh, and, and Bruce, and I think that, you know, putting their heads together, they will pour through this thing and they might find other things that, you know, could be important Absolutely. that we could ask about, yeah. you know? Absolutely. And I think he's open to that as well. I mean, yeah. the whole idea is to get, yeah, to get that complete the assessment. Okay. Well, as soon as I have that, I'd like to get it out to everybody for them to look at the assessment. Okay. And then when we do the engineering, once we get a solid on the engineering, right. have them Good overlook that and say, oh, okay. you know, maybe we could do this, maybe we could do that. All right, so I, I, I just want to make sure that next week, we're we're looking at the application and moving on. Go for it. All right. But, so I will reach we've out. We've got to get in line. Right. Oh, I understand. Uh, this has nothing to do with that. So I will okay. reach out to them and I'm, tell I'm them okay, to, as long to, as we're to look not at it. Slowing up anything. No, it shouldn't. It's not going to okay. interrupt anything. As soon anything. as I, we get a copy, I'll, I'll pass that okay. on. Okay. I think he didn't he say it was going to make it available in PDF. Yes. Pretty soon. Yeah. It should okay. be. A, we should put it on our website so people can download it. Mm -hmm. That right there, we probably have to go to a web because or a cloud. Yeah, it's, so it's big. big. Yeah, it's gigantic. It's too large. I know. Speaking of which, I'm going to review this. Um, Kimberly McPhee from the FERCOG wanted me to do this. This is the resilient communities in the Deerfield River watershed. It's just culvert stuff. Right. You'll review that home and Does give us a report. Does Chris have that? Should I send it to Chris? Next what? May. Yeah. I said um, something, but I don't think it's Yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it to Boston, and I'll review it. It's just thank you for printing it out. I can't do it without highlights. So I'll, I'll read it. Do you have if anything, you could send it to Chris, that would be helpful. Do you have anything new in your report um, you'd well, like to add? i just remind you, you mean my report? Yeah. Um, you're meeting next week. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and uh, just to quickly run through. Um, that is at 6 o'clock. Okay. Yes. Yes. I have the folks from UMass about the ag fields coming in at 6.30. Okay. Um, well, do we have some information about on that? The back, do we have the MSDS um, She didn't give them to me, so you can say how come. I asked for them. Well, it's just the we problem is I want to do meeting. a little research on whatever they're using before they come and can, can we just send them an email that we'd like to see it before the meeting well, so we can I do a little research? I don't know what else I can do. I, I, I made I it don't clear have, and I brought it up. I can't ask questions if I don't know what they're spraying. Well, if they don't provide the information, we can talk with them and just put them off so you have another two weeks to review it. Well, I know, but we're having them come. I've tried, uh, Carolyn. I don't she, know what to tell yeah. you. I, 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 if, if she's asked them and they haven't produced it. Okay. I'll make a note to ask one more time. <laughs> yeah, just ask one more time, and then we'll ask how come we're not getting the information on the chemicals. That's all. I'd just like to look do my independent research before the meeting. That's all. Um, and then DLTA, they're wanting that back, uh, the District Local Technical Assistance Projects. 
Diana and I have talked. We're working up something, some ideas, um, and um, okay. we'll have that for you. Um, we'll have a liquor license for DA is having an event. Mm -hmm. um, more budget work. I guess Diane Cornwell won't be coming to the meeting. Okay. Well, maybe, but I don't think so. I would, she, we wanted to run it through the pool first. Okay. Um, Can we just have an update um, from the MMA conference? Because we'll want to look yeah. at trends or opportunities that we came across and see what we'll we have. Tip all about it. Noted. Yeah. Give, give <laughs> <the> problems. Um, <laughs> you. So you don't have to I tell also, me. I'm, that's all right. I also. I trust you. Uh, well. <laughs> Whatever you you guys get Some there. Some other arcane oh, duties. Um, set the bond amount and conditions for the railroad solar project. That's something that ZBA wanted the board to do. Mm -hmm. They're going to be here. Um, so we'll hear more, get more do guidance we, on do that. Do we have any idea? Well, I mean, I guess this is a question we can ask down in Boston, but do we have any idea what the per panel we should be looking at for... Um, you know, uh, we're recycling them at the end of the, I, I have at, a, at their life cycle yeah. end. I've asked this question many times. I mean, I have no idea. But, but this is a, this is a scenario. We, we make these people give bonds, and I'm not saying that it's a bad idea. But if they walk away from the railroad thing and we don't like it, how do we go to clean it? Is on private property. Well, that's what the bond is for. Is to it provides the the it's. A bond is insurance that someone will clean up the place if you have a bond amount that's enough. I mean, that, that's, but the problem is you have to do some kind of estimate from 20 years from now. So everybody's massively making these solar fields. So what happens? Everybody's solar field is going to age out at the same time. So how are they recycling them? And what do we ask for for a price? I mean, I have no idea. Let's uh, research that down there. Yeah, okay. I think um, I had a meeting with Pat Smith and John Waite about some, um, you know, other issue planning stuff. But they did talk about, um, we talked about that, the bond condition. So <clears throat> I think in, an, in the planning board asked for a decommissioning plan and some cash escrow to be held exactly. on some project because um, they Is were unable better to. better than a bond? They were unable to produce a, a that bond. type of bond okay. for that type of period. So they can't get a 20-year bond right. without paying for that annually. That would be very cost prohibitive, I understand, mm -hmm. or okay. um, had, had reasons why that couldn't be done. So um, they did ask for cash ex escrow. So I, we can find out how they did that and have that information for you. I, I just don't want us to be stuck mm -hmm. with it at Most some point. Fields. Abandoned yeah. It has been done here already, so. Yeah. OK. So the other thing is to open the warrant for the special town meeting. Mm -hmm. We're looking at the clock, working with Barbara to, to sort of figure out when that could be potentially February 11th or 25th, looking at a Monday night for that. Barbara has to do voter registration. Mm -hmm. And then there was a question about, sorry, bad calls. <laughs> Um, um, what, February 11th? Whether the, 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 February a debt exclusion <laughs> vote was going to be necessary. Yeah, the, the dates we were looking at was February 11th and February 25th. We're leaning more toward the 25th, but um, yeah. And then I guess the question I think um, was raised about whether we intended for this to be a debt exclusion for this, um, for the one million that we had talked about at the your last meeting around the wastewater yeah. assessment. Um, if we can do the 25th, I think it's better because then we'll have some time to make mm -hmm. sure we have the correct numbers. Right. But so, we can so also, if we open the warrant next week, we can put it in the application that we're moving forward and we yeah. have, are having a town meeting schedule. Okay. But we and won't can be crazy trying to come up with the numbers by the 11th. Right. So if you do that, just so you know, I'm not asking you to discuss it tonight. We should put it on the agenda for next time. But I just want to give you the information. So your mm -hmm. annual election is in, uh, I believe, the first week of May. Mm -hmm. You have 35 days to let your town clerk know if you want to put something on the ballot. So you, if you were going to do this as a debt exclusion and okay, you went to town well. meeting in February, you should still have time to be able to get it on to the annual. Okay. Okay. But you would for a debt exclusion. For gotcha. debt exclusion. All right. Well, let me ask a general Shea, question Shea, about the sewer and, and financing of that. And mm -hmm. if, if we're using these debt exclusions to pay for different uh, phases of this going on, would it be consistent if we do the same process in the old Deerfield plant? 
Because wasn't the beginning one, like South Deerfield 2 was Old Deerfield 3 was South Deerfield 4 was mm -hmm. Old Deerfield? Yeah, I think you're talking about debt excluding? Yeah, I mean, are we going to, are we prepared to finance the Old Deerfield plant in the same manner as we are the South Deerfield plant? That's a good question because I don't you know, know. We have to, you know, we I, know you're talking I hope about you, know where I'm, you know where I'm going it with depends. this. It depends. There it is. Because but it depends <laughs> also, yeah, but it also depends if we get this grant or not. I mean, that's even one so. of the reasons. I, even we're still, I mean, th there's, I, I, we, I think that. Because there's only so many users in Old Deerfield, there's a lot more users in, you know, I know. And, and so, I so now. So I, part I, of my concern is creating the us them thing with the, like we did with the school. Right, it took how long to get that done and get, you know, group us together as a town. But I do also understand that, yes, you, when you have a lot of nonprofit up there, you don't have the same amount of users I think paying like for six upgrades. Users. You know, like they would be subsidizing, if we do this the way it is now, they're subsidizing our repair if, if we don't change any structure. And then when we go and do theirs, we're subsidizing theirs, but there's a whole lot more people subsidizing that plant than there is this plant subsidizing, you know, them subsidizing our plant. Yeah. So that's a, this, you know, it's, a it's, discussion to have and yeah. to figure out how we do well, that. Well, if that's other what I was getting at is, I mean, if, if this is the way we're going forward, that's something you have to keep in mind. And you have to keep in mind before you do this, because if you're going to set a precedent, you need to. Exactly. And you. Okay, I'll, I'm going to stop there. Skip. I just want to say that Come to the debt exclusion has absolutely nothing to do with, right. you know, who's, who's getting the sewer services. The debt exclusion simply allows the town to pay for that, those loans. 25%, yeah. Over and, and above. Yeah. The two and a half. The two and a half limits yeah, but th th that's not the issue it's it's my question was would the same process follow in the old year i understand that who ultimately pays for it the debt exclusion just lets the town borrow the money and the way it's paid back is through user fees and taxpayer dollars in the south deerfield plant the users are going to pay for 75% and the taxpayers are going to pay for 25%. There's 680 something users down here. When you go to Old Deerfield, you've got maybe 200 users and only a dozen of them are residents. The rest are nonprofits, but yet there is no tax base. The 70 75% is going to come from user fees, there and 25 percent is, is going to come from. In South Deerfield, when it right. comes to the wastewater treatment plants, right. the, those are all paid out of the same. Well, we budget. we they we, are. well, they are. We're paying out of the same budget. That's They're right. paying out of the same budget, but as of I think a year, well over a year ago, they started to separate the cost, more or less for uh, not tracking. really booking analysis, tracking, tracking. 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 for tracking, tracking and stuff like that, and I. I it, I thought it was a good idea to separate them and actually, you know, assess them differently. That didn't happen. But I think going forward, you know, trying to offset roadblocks that I'd hate to see happen is we need to think about this because you're going to get a lot of people saying, you know, why should I pay for that? And then that would cause a problem in our in the whole process. I, I don't think that has any, that doesn't have anything to do with debt the, using yeah. debt exclusion. Debt exclusion only applies to the taxes that are, that are used to pay back the loan, not not uh, what the user fees are. I, I, I get that, but the the people who have to pay back that money are going to want to know that question. You know, we, we're no, going to resolve question. it. It will be why why should I pay? For that, I, I agree, know. but that has nothing to do with that exclusion. But it's a no, but it's the process. It's I'm just saying it's the process. You know, if, if we're we going to follow the same process. That exclusion, and it was in some place mm -hmm. along the way, the town needed to make that payment. Right. Then that has to; those payments come out of coming out of the budget, 
before other things. So you might need to lay off policemen, might need to you know, lay off teachers. I'm just throwing these out. Sure. I'm not saying it's, but it, it just, right. it's good protection to put those expenses outside. Move them outside the regular two and a half percent process that we go through. I understand uh, that. And, you know, we, we did not do that, for example, and we talked about it today mm -hmm. when we bought the Oxford property. Correct. So we've been paying the, the paying for that. All of the interest has been paid, I guess, under the table, not under the table, but within our regular taxpayers. It has not been exempt. Yes, but to Skip, you remember what we had talked about? If it was developed, it all the costs of that development would have been part of our budget anyway. In other words, at least one or two kids from each of those 164 units would have gone into the schools and we would have had to pay for it. We talked about this. Depends on what type of development. Right. It was just over 55. Well, we would not have had any impact on this. But it wasn't, it wasn't over 55 that was proposed. I'm sorry, I heard differently, Carolyn. Well, Carol, it still has nothing to do with, with using a debt exclusion. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Next agenda, so we, All right. Next agenda item. item. No, well, we'll, we'll talk. Right. Uh, no, real know. quick, Bruce. This part. Yeah. Is a debt exclusion voted in town meeting? Yes. It, well, uh, no. No. It's, it's a budget. Well, how is it? Part, well, we talk about it as part of the. Um, it's a. It's about. Because right now it, it's currently uh, special legislation requires payment by the the town at seventy five twenty five. Right. If you bring it to town meeting, you're not going to be certain you're going to get that vote. That's an no, election. That's, it's a ballot. It's a ballot it's, question. Yes. Yeah. So usually that's two different things, though, right? That's, that's, that's a downfall totally of different. a dead exclusion. Mixing things up again. You might not <laughs> yeah. get. No. No. Yeah, but 25 percent to that's vote for that dead exclusion. That's the language. In that's my concern. Well, if it's, but I don't. Yeah. Carolyn, if, when you have. Debt exclusions, is, that, uh, is it like a, a financial thing? It has to pass by two thirds? No. So, can no. I, no. Just, can I answer these questions? Um, I could answer some of these questions. Okay. Um, so, Thank when you, you get guys. to a special town meeting um, for authorization tomorrow, you are going to need a two thirds vote for your article. When you go to, you can make your article. Um, I would not recommend you make it contingent on getting the debt exclusion vote because you have to do this project regardless. regardless. Right. But you can take it, you can say we are going to try to debt exclude it. You take it to the ballot and then you get, get the, the debt exclusion. That's on the total amount of the debt and the debt service as it's paid back. 75% would be paid back from the Wastewater Enterprise Fund, which is all one fund and has all the sewer in it. And then the 25 would be paid out of the general fund, the debt service. And the 25% the of debt service would be uh, on excluded on above the levy. It would be right. outside a levy. You're just talking about 25%. So if, if it passes at special town meeting to authorize the spending of it, but the debt exclusion fails, yeah. then what happens? Well, it depends on how you draft your article right. language. You don't want to make the vote contingent. No, I understand. So the, if the, it passes. The one at the special town meeting, then it's not Then we have to come up with $250,000. Right. Correct. In our, on our operating budget. So correct. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. That's correct. If it were to not, if you were to take it to a ballot and you didn't get the ballot vote, then it would. Then if right. you still so went ahead with the then we have borrowing, to absorb you, that two fifty. The article, the article, not oh, contingent right. on the the um, debt exclusion, and it passes. But the debt exclusion doesn't pass, then we have to come up with that money. Right. Through. Yes. Yes, and I'm suggesting that you don't make it contingent because oh, then you yes. can't, then your your vote Both. is invalid to go it. to the... I get it. Yeah. It messes or up everything. Or you'd have to you do it again have and try to... Ballot. Kevin. <laughs> the only thing I want to make a note of is when you were talking about, you know, uh, possibly splitting them up between two different districts or whatever, not districts, but areas. Whatever. Um, Management areas. If you split them, you got to split them before we do all the work. But also keep in the back of your mind that when Old Deerfield, because that's going to be a very large amount, I'm not going to throw a number out because I can't tell you sure. off the top of my head and I'll be stuck to that number the rest of my life. Yep. So whatever the arbitrary number would, would be is now you've got the people that are the users, the 75%, which is actually going to turn out to 80 
seven percent, yeah. which is actually eighty-seven percent, which is what I'm going to end up paying because I'm a user here in town, not seventy-five because yeah. I get sure because my taxes yep. too. Yep. yep. But what I'm getting at is, is once you go out there, you're not going to have that twenty-five percent of those guys over there, and it's you're going to absolutely kill them in old Deerfield. Mm -hmm. I mean, you you if would you, yeah. again would arbitrary number. You know, their 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 sewer could be. Three thousand dollars, five thousand dollars a year. Right. Arbitrary numbers. I understand, but 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 right. uh, being but if you're gonna do it, all, all I'm trying to get at is if you're gonna do it, you have to do it now before yep. you do any work whatsoever to make it even for everybody all the way around. But you know would I mean? you? I, I'm not a user, but you are. Correct. Would you feel comfortable paying that twenty-five percent for that other plan? We're in it all together, is my understanding. I mean, I thought we were a town, um, because my general understanding is is my budget, which includes both plants is a town budget I mean granted it's it's funded by the users but it's still the town the entire town gets a benefit because we have wastewater if we didn't have wastewater you wouldn't have a lot of industry you didn't have a lot of industry instead of your tax rate being fifteen dollars an hour it could be twenty seven dollars an hour well, or twenty two dollars an hour or but, whatever but it may be not, not, I'm not so, trying so to is, argue so that there, point. Isn't, there is a benefit to sure. having it which Again, and, and I feel for the people that are out there with the septic systems. I mean, you go ahead and you have a failed septic system. It's twenty grand, thirty grand, right off the bat that they have to pull out of their own pocket with no extra help. Right. Understand? Just, I understand that completely. Yeah. But and, and you're paying, you get a pump every two, three right. years. Right. Yeah. Plus every maintenance and everything six else months, along with. And, and I'm not minimizing the, the 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 fact or the necessity of town sewer, and especially in this area, anytime you have congested areas because you don't have the room for septic system. But I looked into this quite, there's more tax dollars generated, I'm talking just businesses, mm -hmm. from businesses that are on septic systems than there are the businesses connected to town sewer. Really? Yeah, and the big, and the big one is what sways it over is all states. That's what really pushes it over the oh, head. Oh yeah, yeah. That's they that's generate really a lot of tax I mean, revenue. You're, you're looking, you're looking at a very large corporation that is a a, a quarry and very limited amount of people right. compared to Yankee Candle, where you have a million visitors a year. But they don't care how many visitors are. It's the value of the building. Right. And but what I'm getting at is the value of, of what of what they make, which is part of our. And correct me if I'm wrong, but is that not where we get our local money from too? I don't know what you mean. Yankee Restaurants Candle and things like that. Pay for their own sewer. Yeah, they don't. Well, they're they're not on no, sewer. No, they're no, not what, on our sewer. no. I, I get the point that I'm making is that the valuation of the, say the Yankee Candle store mm -hmm. is about a third of what the uh, quarry is. Oh, of course it is. So, but you also make up. I think you make up the difference on the other end because you've got you've got different taxes you get out of Yankee Candle that you don't get out of the quarries. Meals tax. Get meals, meals tax, tax over That's there. It. Yeah. So you get nothing else on there, storage or anything else? Okay. Well, I'm I don't wrong know. on that one. But it, but anyways, yeah, I I understand your point, but uh, so but yeah, if you're going to split them, you got to split them now. Yeah. And and if you do, it's it's again, it's you know, am, am I am I going to bore am I going to bore the burden of it being taxpayer and a user? Yeah, I'm going to have to because it's it's I'm in for the game. This is this is us. I thought we were together. We are so, together. We are together. That was kind of my opinion. So, but thank you. Thank sure. you, Kevin. Do you want to finish up? Yep, she's got a couple other items. Most of you know um, that our recently hired um, assistant town administrator, Connor Robichaud, is leaving. And we're very sorry and very There's disappointed. Um, I think it was a mix of. Um, I mean, he was great. We all liked him. Everybody Thank liked him. Much. And he did some good work in his short time here. He'll be um, here tomorrow for a little bit. And you're all headed off to the MMA annual meeting. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think it was a bit Con Connor. Connor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, he, got, he got another offer to go yeah. back to where he was working. Yeah. He worked here four weeks. He put in a lifetime here. Yeah. <laughs> Don't interview. He was working 55 hours a week. So, but I think we'll it, it was a bit, we're in a lot of transition. It's, it's hard to bring someone into a new position while we're in transition in departments that he's working in. And I think that on top of that, uh, he yeah, had he every felt intention. Comfortable where he was. So, so um, and the other thing is on the um, building commissioner, uh, we have two applicants. I'm waiting to hear two 
qualified applicants at this point. I'm waiting to hear back from one tomorrow as to whether he's still interested because they, they were both in positions where they pay a bit more than what we offer. And, you know, of course, um, working other places, they get their benefits, their uh, accrued time leave and all of that. So, well, want to change a job, that's how it is. At any rate, um, one of the things I may have talked individually with you is rather than go through a screening process with the committee, just have those two candidates come before the select board in an interview. So we can that sense. make that happen at I, that. I still would like to, I don't know what you guys think about reposting that job and see if we can take the opportunity. I, I would like to repost people. it because the problem is just having those two candidates come for before us, we're not really qualified. I mean, I don't know the commercial code. I, I don't think that's a really good um, evaluation of. Well, uh, you know, here's the. You don't need to know the code. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, but you need you need to know the people are qualified. Mm -hmm. And well, that's, that's how. Where you what, get references. First of all, I think you would have more people. Um, that could be here. Um, uh, the planning board could be here. Yeah. ZBA could be here. Yeah. Other people oh, in the community. Okay. Bruce I mean, has his knowledge. Whatever who understand the work of the job yeah. in an open okay. process with you um, are more likely to be able to, oh, you know, well, that's a different story weigh than in on that. Oh, mm -hmm. we but we're not talking about, I mean, no, we'll, 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 we'll see we can prepare, you know, the kinds of questions that are typically asked of, in, of this position, and you can sort mm -hmm. through those. Um, but, you know, that's an open process, and whoever would like to be there. And, sure. But you would be controlling the... Sure. I, I still, th I would like to, to repost that again. I, I just don't just see any purpose in that. Well, it's been a, when was that posted? It's, it posted it's still on our website. Yeah. But I just and looked that. What, what's that? It's known throughout the, you know, the community, throughout the uh, building inspectors, building commissioners community. Um, well, let's interview the people we have. And then yeah. if other people come in, great. Or if we get more, you know, I don't know if you want to. Put it in the beacon one last time. That's fine because we're not. There, we can still take an application until we. Is that that newspaper that we get? In yeah, the box? yeah. That's where all the people from. The well, the online. Right. That's where everyone knows to look for municipal right, positions. Yeah. So yeah, we can put it back in if you'd like. At in? least there, if that would, yeah. you know. Can we just do that for that costs what it cost hundred fifty dollars. So? I forget what it yeah. costs, but. Yeah, yeah it's not very expensive. By the time it runs, we'll do some interviews and. Mm -hmm. I think you. We've got. Well, we'll see tomorrow if we have two, but right. we, both nice. of those that are nice our commissioners and they're quite qualified. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, okay. uh, Sounds good. Uh, may I suggest you do them separately? Uh, last time yep. you did an interview yep. process, yep. it was all three people sitting Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. it was very that awkward. Was very it was awkward. That's, yeah. that's not atypical for town administrator positions. So, um, but I would want to set it up that way for separating them for this. Okay. Although yep. they'll be on television, so. <laughs> uh, do you have anything you want to add? Um, so do you want to meet weekly to budgets, you know, you know um, keep up with the next, finance committee? Next and Wednesday. Stuff? The you are meeting, uh, are meeting the 23rd. You are meeting the 23rd, and then I don't know what you want to do after that. Um, well, I was going to have you open the warrant next week, and then if you meet on the 30th, we can close it and sign it. Do we want and to meet on the 30th, or can we skip a week and go to the 6th? Uh, the 6th, I have, a, I do have a, a school committee, but that's it's six. Right? It's at 6. And then, um, actually, one of these candidates generally has um, work hours Wednesday night, so that might be a different night that you would oh, okay. do the yeah, interview. Yeah, we could do um, Maybe we could So do we want to meet the tour? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Instead. On the 30th? The 5th can, or 7th? Yeah. yeah. Um, we could do what the do fifth or seventh in terms of the we could, the we could change let's or select decide. Board. Let's decide next week after we figure out the schedule okay. for the vote okay. and the okay. town meeting and all of that. Okay. okay. The whether the, the, the um, I, I would like to change our select board Who's meeting oh, yeah. on the, <laughs> from the sixth <laughs> to the seventh, maybe, no, uh, so that you can come. What's that? <laughs> change the select board meeting from the sixth to seventh because you have your negotiation sets on the sixth, right? I do. I know my, the sixth is just a regular uh, school committee. February sixth. All right. 6th. Yeah. So we were going to change to a Tuesday or a, a Thursday. I would do Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. I can do Tuesday. So I can do Tuesday it, right now. Yeah. I don't want to have have a meeting on Monday. But I'll stay here. <laughs> okay. Oh, that would be just so perfect. Would it? Would you rather? <laughs> no. no. Can you stay Doesn't for the? Yeah. We'll keep it Doesn't and we'll matter. run it until about ten o'clock at night. <laughs> 
We'll get every you'll, last you'll be minute in that out of you. Yeah. Okay. We could talk about mosquitoes and go to midnight. So I'm going to put, I'll put tentative. Um, I still have live mosquitoes in my basement. You know. Are you putting and those then, discs in? Yes. They're not working. But I'm, I'm, I I'm just telling you, it's an so extreme you another, another source. I think you, can you, you another source of what? Can you, can you all just put 30th in your whatever, you know, yeah. placeholder? Thank you. What, what, I'm sorry. The 30th. the 30th. We are going to do the 30th? Yeah, we just I have to. we're going to skip that. The town meeting thing has to be done just, you know, just right. so, properly. Okay. We'll leave it so. there if it doesn't have It's to tentatively yeah. maybe. Yeah. Because you got to post that. Oh, you got to advertise it, right? Still. Yes, we have to advertise. Then we just don't like and it. CIPC, okay. I don't know if CIP, CIPC has to consider it. And, uh, yes. You know. Make sure that's all done. It's a hoopla. It's a hoopla. I had other things, but we can't remember them right now. On the. Unless you agenda is just. Motion to okay. adjourn. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? Aye. Second Thank you. Thanks. Boom. Thank you, Dan.